Shalom, shalom. We're supposed to give our praise to the Most High. Call Halal. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. That's all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, we are the Hebrews. That's kind of what we got. So called Negro Spanish Native Indians. We are according to the Holy Bible. It is time to repent. Time. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna bring that back. We're gonna do something different to today. All right, we um we are official. We have officially came up with, with, with a, a new camp name. All right, and the camp name is Prophets in Babylon, and we are still under the banner of Great Millstone. So we are we are not we are not necessarily a part of Great Millstone. We are under the banner of Great Millstone. I mean, those are our teachers. That's who we learn from. That's who we get 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 the, get the doctrine from. But at, um as of today, we have come up with a new camp name called Prophets in Babylon. All right, um. And the reason why we came up with that name because it's all through prophecy, man. It's like right now we're in a time of prophecy right now. All right. Now we established a law too. Don't get it twisted. We established the law. That's why we got, you know what I'm saying, some of these law um, um, posters out here. So we established the law. We, we, we're not taking anything from the law. But we gonna, when we come out here, the, more, the main thing we're going to do is prophesy, man. All right. Um, now the way, the way we came up with, with that name too is through all through the spirit. We, me and the brother have been meditating on the um on the name for, for the camp. We been the head of camp, him been second commander in the camp in, 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 in the camp. We been meditating on a new name for for, for the camp. And um I it came to me, it came to him, we put them together and find out it was the same name and, and, and that was that was all through through the spirit of the most high, man. So we're gonna roll with it. Um and uh yeah. So to start off this, this camp today, we're gonna go into the importance of prophecy, man. Or right, why it is important to prophesy. Are right, while we in a time of prophecy, all right, because we in a time like never before, man. And we, and in this time we living in right now, so much things is going on. All right, you got all these prophecies coming to pass. We, right now is the year. Um, what is it? What's the what's the date? Uh, it's one twenty three twenty one. Yeah. Yeah, one twenty three twenty one. The year of uh, hasten to come of Yahweh Bash and Yahshai. Lord, when we get out of here this year, man. All right, that's 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 the whole goal. We ain't here to try to build up no fucking eight hundred thousand man camp. All right, we just out here pushing the work of Yahweh Bashan Al Shai to get up out of here sooner than later, man. Con. And Lord willing, this is the year. All right, Con. Lord willing, this is the year where great destruction definitely come upon this place. You got this guy uh, Biden in the office now. All right, he 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 already signed a bunch of executive orders. All right, including executive orders dealing with YouTube and social media, man. They, they, they are they are bringing down the wire on on, on these social media, it's taking on videos left and right. All right, so we in a time where it's time to prophesy, man. All right, well, what you got up? Con, this is uh, Jeremiah twenty nine and fourteen. And I will be found of you, saith Yahweh, and I will turn away your captivity, uh -huh. and I will gather you from all the nations. So right now the Lord is turning away our captivity. Because for us coming in this truth, man, and to understand this Bible, to, to, to be coming back to our Lord in truth and sincerity, the Lord is turning away our captivity. He's he bringing us out of that darkness, all right, which we very, very much so needed, man. All right, Because we all were in darkness at one point in time, and we, and, and, and we found this beloved truth, man. All right. He said he would turn around captivity. What, what, what was the other part? And I will gather you from all the nations. So right now, Israel has been gathered from all nations, man, because Israel has been scattered amongst all nations, all over the world. It ain't just about America, man. Israel is scattered all over the world. Now, America is the belly of the beast. We we in the belly of the beast, all right? And this is a, a very important uh, thing to be out here prophesying in this belly of the beast, man. We could be doing anything else. We could be out here trying to be rappers, trying to be uh, ball players, trying to be uh, actors, whatever it may be. But the Lord put the Spirit us to come out here and prophesy, man. All right, go ahead. Con. It says, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, uh -huh. saith Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And I will bring you again into the place whence I cause you to be carried away captive, uh -huh. which is Jerusalem. All right, so the Lord is going to set us back in our own homeland, which is Jerusalem. All right, we were uh, uh, taken on cargo slave ships. Uh, the, the 10 tribes migrated over here, all right, after uh, the Assyrian captivity. And the Lord is going to gather us all together and bring us back to our homeland, yep, starting yep. with the elect, the 144,000 and the one third. And that great multitude spoken of in Revelation is still talking about Israel, man. Yep. Hey, and, and that right there in itself is a prophecy, man. All right. That right there is a prophecy as it's about to come to pass. It hasn't came to pass yet because we're still in captivity. We're still over here in, in the belly of the beast. But we, that, that's a prophecy that's, that's coming to pass before our eyes, man. The Lord's about to come and deliver us up out of this hell. Our right, Lord willing that we be those elect men. Con, right. and that word prophecy means to speak before. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're telling you things that are going to happen before they happen because the prophets of old got visions of the future, and now we have the Holy Spirit to break these scriptures down to tell you the future. Yep, yep. All right? It says, verse 15, because ye have said, Yahweh the Lord hath raised us up prophets in Babylon. So through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, um, through, 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 through the Rakak with us, the Lord has raised us up prophets in Babylon, man. All right? To, uh, for us to be out here, come out here week in, week out, teach you so-called, you are the Spanish native, Venezuela, according to the Holy Bible, and to prophesy unto you, 
That right there is a great gift from, from, from our Lord, man. That, this is not of our own. The Lord raised us up to be prophets in Babylon. And, that, and that's ultimately where we got where we got, got the name for the camp from, man. Uh, that's where we, where we got the name, and that's what and that's how we going uh that's how we can establish where we got it from through that scripture right there, man. Con. All right, for us to be out here prophesying, the Lord raised us up to come out here and do this, man. All right, because right. hey, the scripture says man's going is of the Lord. All right, well, like I said, we could be anywhere else, man, but we are here prophesying. All right, while Jake out here having fun, they, they riding past on jet skis and shit. And the most important thing to us right now is not any of that madness, but come out here and prophesy, man. God, right. and to be able to do so, you have to be called to do so. That's right, that's right. All right, brothers up here, we wouldn't think that we would be up here teaching the Bible, man, when we was in high school doing whatever we was doing. No, but the Lord called us for a higher calling to come out and prophesy. Yeah. And what a prophet is supposed to do is prophesy, man. Right. So you got all these guys that they despise prophesying, man. They despise the word of the Lord. They despise when we constantly go into the market of beasts. Who got that? We constantly talk about uh, the nuclear destruction. Prophecy. All right. We constantly talk about prophecy. And these guys, they they hate it, man. They despise us for it. Because ultimately, they despise the word of the Most High. That's right. What you got up? It's the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 19. It says, quench not the spirit. And verse 20 says, despise not prophesying. Uh, so despise not prophesying, man. You got a lot of guys out here. And in these in these different camps, they despise they despise prophesying, man. You go up to me, you ask them about the market beast, they look at you crazy. They got a problem with you now. They, they treat you like an enemy, man. Because you ask them about the market beast, well, that's a prophecy, man. And now that it's an end time prophecy that that's about to be, be to, about, about to be fulfilled. All right. So when we bring these things out, these guys despise it, man, and they ultimately despise us for even bringing it out. Huh. All right. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to get into it. They don't want to uh, bring it out. And even when they do bring it out, a lot of, a lot of their breakdowns are completely off, man. All right. This is completely it's completely wrong. They coming out of their own opinion. Oh, I think this. I, in my opinion, this. All right. And try to, try to show me what it means through the scriptures, man. And you got to back it up with scripture. Okay. You can't just say, oh, oh brother, well, I, hey, I personally believe, believe, believe it's twofold. Pro prove that then, man. Scripture says you got to prove all things. So if you believe it's this, you believe it's that, you, you got to prove it, man, with the scriptures. All right. We can prove what the market of the beast says with the scriptures. That is the, that is the, that is the R for the uh, microchip, man. God, and you only see really one camp that's really pushing the uh the market of beast which is great millstone yep hey, now, and, hey, teaches hey, it. and prophecy yeah and, and prophecy right these other guys they constantly talk about the law the law the law which we understand we establish the law we the law is good the law is great we keep the law to the best of our ability but prophecy is what's going to get us out of babylon yes. all right um i got a scripture real quick this is sirach 24 and 32 i will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning mm. so doctrine this whole thing revolves around doctrine that's man right, you right. gotta have the doctrine uh tahar did a, a video recently talking about leaven mm. a little leaven leaven at the whole lump now we're coming into the time of the passover where you're gonna have to get rid of all the leaven within you yep, yep. all right and these other camps they have a whole bunch of leaven in them yep. that's why they do unity camps and stuff like that well you're you're walking with people that have two separate doctrines man that's 11 man multiple separate doctrines man. right it'd it, it, it be three camps and y'all got different breakdowns of the market of the beast so that's a bunch of leaven right there man mm -hmm. and if somebody comes to you actually about the market of the beast if y'all are doing a unity camp hey it's gonna have to get three different answers man yep and that right there is living because if, if you if you wrong on one on one on one little thing okay then you most likely wrong on a whole bunch of other stuff man yeah all right and, and, and it all has to it all got to make sense it's all supposed to come together man con and what leaven does is it makes the bread rise so when you're making bread and you put a little bit of leaven in the dough it mixes itself with the whole dough so that whole lump is is leavened up now. All right. So you can't have no leaven in your doctrine. You cannot have anything that's off. So if you got guys that's calling on another name, that's leaven. Yep. A little leaven, leaven at the whole lump. So you got a little leaven in your doctrine. That whole doctrine is going to end up being off, man. That's right. Hey, and true unity means to be all of one mind, man. All yeah. right. And if you're not of one mind, you probably come together and bring out the scriptures and get on one accord, man. What is that, Amos? Uh, Amos, walk, Amos yeah, three can, two and three. Together, can two walk together unless they be agreed? And these guys doing unity camps. That's right. I and I'm not even gonna go into that. But so this, hey, basically the point is that you see brothers out here, man. We, 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 we all have the same understanding. We all follow the same doctrine. We all in agreement. Just like uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he says, "I am in the Father, and the Father in me." That's right. That's, that's right. not saying that they're one person. Mm -hmm. That means that they are in agreement together. Yep, yep, yep. And they, 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 they are together to fulfill the same mission, man. We can't be together if you got a mission. I got a mission. We got two separate missions. It ain't gonna work out, man. You gotta go. You gotta, I gotta go my way. That's why. Yeah. And the same other thing is too. Why we don't do? Why, why we don't do unity camps? Because you're not gonna have somebody come out here with a whole different doctrine and then they're gonna push a doctrine. Why we pushing out? Nah, man. That, that 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 brings confusion. Right. All right. And come. And the Lord the Scripture say the most has not the author of confusion. Con. All right. And we're not respected persons. The Lord told you not to be a respected person. So if we did have someone come out here. 
and she taught another doctrine. He went off. We're going to correct him on the spot. Yep, yep, and yep. we're not causing, we're not going to go through all that confusion, man. Yep, yep. All right, we're not going to be a respected person like, oh, this brother seems kind of cool, man. I, I don't know. I'm just going to let him say it. No, nah, man, we yeah, ain't doing that, man. We ain't doing that. We're going to teach the truth how it's supposed to be taught, man. That's right. That's right. All right. And that's very important when you come into this walk, man, is that, hey, you got to you, you gotta break it out the way the Lord, the, Lord, the Lord told us to, man. Yep. All right. It ain't about trying, trying to go along to get along. Because a lot of guys, they try to go along to get along. Oh, brother, well, you know what I'm saying? He got this, he got that. But we still brothers. Listen, man. You, you're right. We still brothers. But at the same time, the, the, the truth m m must be declared, man. All right. The whole truth, not just parts of it. And one thing about us, starting with the elders and apostles on down the Great Millstone, is that we let you know everything. We put it all on the table for you, man. All right, there is no, you don't, you don't have to call us and say, what's the market of the beast? Because hey, we, we already put it out there, man. All right, it, it, it has been for, uh, uh, manifest and well known for, for the whole for, for the whole congregation to see, man. So these other camps, see, they call them and say, well, what's your opinion on what, what you think of the market of the beast is? Because they're not making it known. Scripture says to go out there and publish this truth. What does it mean to publish something? Make it public, man. You got IRC out here making people pay for, 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 uh, for uh, breakdowns, man. And they all the wrong breakdowns at, at that. Time. All right, we're supposed, to make, we're supposed to publish his truth and make it public. So we come out here and we prophesy. We're making those prophecies public. All right, yeah. so everybody, everybody, everybody can know. So everybody can have the right doctrine, man. Yeah. Yep. All right. Then the Lord said, uh, I give it to you freely, so give it out yeah. freely. Yeah. Freely, freely give. Freely, freely yeah, you're not supposed to put a price tag on his truth, man. And a lot of guys do. I saw recently uh, Alizar from the Sakara. He had made a post. Now he's selling promo, man. So if you got the right money, you can... He'll post you whatever you want on on his page. Yep, yep. All right, which is like, come on, man, that's, that's off. Solid. And the whole the whole Israelite rap thing, that's off, man. All right, the Lord gave us a guideline on how to do it, and we're gonna come out here and prophesy, man. That's we're not right. gonna do the extra shit. Yes, yeah, right, man. And ultimately, by coming out here and prophesying against this place, Lord, towards come out here and prophesy against this place. That's what's making America crumble, man. When you're not prophesying against this place, then America's gonna we're we gonna be here for a, a long time. If none of us out here prophesying, we end up gonna get up out of here, man. That's all right. right? But us prophesying, this is what's destroying America, man. So these guys are promoting all this other garbage and bullshit, man, and, 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 and nonsense. That's not that's not getting us up out of here faster, man. Mm -hmm. All right? That, all, 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 all that doing is these guys getting comfortable in their captivity. Yep. They think about money in their captivity, man. To hell with money. To hell with uh, 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 bu building up in this place, trying to build communities and shit. To hell with all that stuff, man. We're trying to get up out of here. That's the main goal yep. is to get, to get out of Babylon. Yep. All right? The Lord got something greater for us, man. We ain't worried about what we can get out of doing this truth. Some guys do this truth just to make money, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Just like the brother was saying about the guy, um, uh, and Sakari, uh, 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 um, yeah, Alizar. uh, damn Alizar, all right, and for us to, 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 for a specific point, he's trying to make money, man, all right, it's, it, they're selling shirts, they're selling this, they're selling everything, they know. that's all about money, man, we ain't doing that, all right, we come out here to prophesy, and once we done prophesying, we're going to go back home and then bring out more prophecy again, man, buy the right? truth and sell it not. That's right. This is uh, Sirach 24 and 32. I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning mm -hmm. and will send forth her light afar off. Mm -hmm. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy mm -hmm. and leave it to all ages forever. That's right. So th 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 this, this, this word has been left to all ages, man. That's why we still have it to this day. Think about any book in the world. This truth has been here since 2,000 years ago, man. All oh, right, 4,000 4, years ago. This truth has been here for, really since the beginning of the earth, man. Yeah. It's the foundation of the earth. This truth has, has been established. The Lord has established it, and it's uh, still here, man. God, That's and, not by coincidence. And in the spirit, even before the foundation of the earth, because Yahweh Shai is the word, man. Yep, he was yep. the first spirit created, man. So this word embodies Yahweh Shai, man. Yep, yep. So this word was really here from the found, foundation of the earth and before the foundation of the earth, man. That's in John. Khan. Yep. Um, who got the next precept? I got something real quick. Yep. Um, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning mm. from me. Yep. So we're supposed to warn the people. All right. We have we are watchmen. A watchman is going to uh, warn the people of incoming danger. Yep, yep. And we see a lot of danger coming to America, man. Sure. All right. There's going to be another lockdown. All right, they're talking about even uh, uh, shutting off the lights, man. Yep, and all yep. of America, man, going to be a blackout, an EMP, whatever they do, man. We just got to wait and see. Yep. Now, the Lord did say that he was going to send the plagues of Egypt back to this place again, man. And one of those plagues was complete darkness, man. Mm -hmm. So we're watching for the people. A prophet is going to prophesy to warn the people. These other guys, they ain't doing that, man. Yep. Nate ain't doing that. All right, Nate telling you there ain't no Jacob's trouble, man. Well, Jacob's trouble is really about to pop off. And really, we're already in Jacob's trouble, man. Yes, Jacob's already in trouble, man. But yeah. guess what? It's only going to escalate. Jacob's trouble is only going to get worse as the days go on. That's right. That's right. Hey, and that's why you got this guy uh, Biden talking about 
the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and, and Native Indians, man. This came out of his mouth talking about this damn jab, man. Talking about Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. Because they, they trying to exterminate us, man. All right, they, they want to see us out of here. They already got the National Guard out here. All right, and they, and they, they, they sitting around twiddling their fingers. They, gonna use, they already use the National Guard to distribute that damn thing, man. So we coming into that time where it's about to get nasty. It's about to get gruesome out here. And knowing you ain't supposed to eat pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster, that ain't it, man. All yeah. right, that, that, now that, that's a part of it, but that's not the whole thing, man. You, you got to know more than that, man. All right, that's what's gonna keep you to, to, to remain faithful in this time. It's not just knowing that you ain't supposed to eat crab, pork, pork, shrimp, and lobster, man. You gotta know what's coming, and you gonna know it by what these prophecies, man. Yeah, and these guys, you know, uh, Nate IUIC and uh, yeah. General Johanna, they'll teach people not to eat crab, pork, shrimp, and lobster, but they'll go say, okay, go take the jab, right? Even though it has fucking uh, what is it, gelatin inside of it, man, yep, yep, which yep. is pork skin. Yep, yep. All right, so these guys really don't have the knowledge of what's going on, man. Yep, um, yep. All right, there was recently a, a ISUPK member had put a, a, a picture up of him with his little report card that he's been jabbed up right and he said uh, uh oh I, I took the mark of the beast and i didn't turn to a demon yet it's, guys it's lost man yeah. Yeah. you're still yeah. a demon man yeah. and now you got nanoparticles flowing through your bloodstream man yep yep and uh, the, the problem with these guys is that they, they, they're not g g giving a um they're not get given a diligent search into the scriptures, man. Yeah. All right. They, 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 they just get a basic level of understanding, and they are pushing all types of madness, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So watch out for those guys, man. And and that right there is is, is another warning. It's us giving you warning from them, man. Uh -huh. All right. Get giving you warning from the Lord to watch out for these guys, because everybody that got on fringes and got a Bible in their hand do not have the truth. Uh -huh. All right. They might have a piece of the truth, a portion of the truth, but ultimately they do not have the truth. You don't have the whole truth. You don't have the truth. All right. Oh, it's, it, uh, so it's, it's like um, it was a, it was a, a, a point that um, uh, uh, Elder Apostle Gabar said he was like um, if you have a how do you put it? He said if you have a, a, a say you have a map right, okay, and, and you have a, have a portion of that map cut out, you right. got to throw away that map because you don't have the whole map. So you right. know, you're not gonna know, you're not gonna know, have, have the full direction, man. All right, you gotta know exactly where you're going when you when when, when, when you are walking in this thing, man. All right, that's according to prophecy, man. Uh, All right, what you about to say, Al? I'm saying, hey, that when you look at it, man, you meditate on it, you realize the prophets are the lords of weapons, man. Weapons of destruction. With thee, I were breaking pieces of the nations, man. All right, if you ain't pro you ain't out, out here prophesying, you ain't doing that. You're a sword that can't cut. All right, as long as we are here prophesying, then this nation is falling and collapsing, man. That's right. And who are you that, that, that are not prophesying? You want to be comfortable, man. You want to chill and kick it in this fucking place. We're trying to get the fuck out of you. Huh? Yeah. And another thing is, the prophets are the Lord's mouthpiece, man. Ooh, this is so the Lord is going to speak through his prophets. He ain't going to come down here and talk to you one-on-one and because the world revolves around you. Nah, the Lord is going to send out his prophets to do this work as you see right here. That's and look, right. we got all different types of people walking by to easily, freely get the word, get the uh, the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh But they don't want to hear it, man. Now, I just want to grab this real quick. Uh, this is John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with the Most High, and the Word was a power. All right, which is talking about Yahweh Shai. All right, going back to what we were saying, how Yahweh Shai is the Word, man. So this doctrine, this truth has been here from the foundation of the earth, man. And key men have got the truth, and after generation after generation have taught the truth, man. I got that. All right, Adam went down, and then Noah, right? All these men had the truth, man, and they prophesied the truth. Yep, yep. I got present, uh, Luke 1 and 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, mm. which have been since the world began. Which yep. have been since the world began. So, so the prophets have always been here, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, and bring that back. Uh, Luke 1 and 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Key words, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. All right. We, we were called to come out here and prophesy, man. All right, we weren't called out here to be generals and captains and everything else. We were called out here to come out here and prophesy, man. Huh. All right, we ain't supposed to be exhorting ourselves. We're supposed to be exhorting the, the, the truth and, 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 and the full doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, through prophecy, man. Because when, when, when we're telling you it's about to come down upon this place, it's not of our own words. You're not coming out of our own mind, our own imagination. This thing is coming out of the Holy Bible, man, letting us know that this is coming upon this place and we're giving you a fair warning, man. All right, not only for, for you, but for ourselves that we do what we're supposed to be doing so that when that time comes, we can be the, the, the delivered, man. That's what it's all about, deliverance. We, we want to be saved, all right? You got you guys, they, they don't even talk about the, the, the elect. They're talking about the nation, the nation, the nation. What nation, man? The Lord didn't come back for a whole nation. He come back for the elect of Israel. That's right. All right, the elect of the nation of Israel, not the whole nation, man. Two-thirds of the whole nation of Israel were already slated since the beginning of, of the foundation of the earth to be destroyed, man. All right, two-thirds were already, two-thirds. You got niggas out here, man, that are not meant to get it. All right, no matter how, how, how good of a person they think they are, 
if they, 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 they can set up them a homeless center, man. At the end of the day, if the Lord can make it for them to get delivered, they're going to be destroyed, man. Con, especially if they're adding to the word of prophecy. Real quick, this is Revelation 22 and 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life mm -hmm. and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Mm -hmm. So if you are saying the mark of the beast is not the microchip, you're adding to prophecy, man. Yep, yep. And this scripture is, is going to fit you unless you repent, man. Yep. Hey, or if you're saying that Jacob's trouble, there is no there Jacob's trouble. You are taken away from, from that prophecy, man. All right, which is going to put you in that book, talking about Nate. All right, he said there's no Jacob's trouble. Uh, apparently, it's going to be a, a peaceful transition into the kingdom of heaven. That's not, that is, that is the farthest from the truth, man. All right, that is the farthest from the truth. All right, mm -hmm. what, you, what you got up? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. It says, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, uh -huh. it is because there is no light in them. All right, now bring that back. It says, to the law and to the testimony. So to the law and to the testimony. You got you, That's two things right there, man. The law, we already know, we already know what the law is, which we got to establish the law, and to the testimony. All right, and we're going to show you what the testimony is, all right? But if you don't have both of these things, Scripture says that there is no light in them, man. So you got these different different camps out here they might have the law and some camps might have a testimony but if you don't have both there is no light in you go ahead it says if they speak not according to this word uh -huh. it is because there is no light in them so if you got you got somebody like, oh we only teach the milk we, uh, 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 we only teach the law we only do this we only do that hey you that's not for you to, that's not for you to decide man you can't just pick what you're going to teach what you're not going to teach the lord kind of told us to come out here and teach his doctrine man right. according to what he told us to teach it all right, so you got to have both of these things, the law and the testimony. If you don't have these things, then there is no light in you. Go ahead and grab the other scripture. This is uh, Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. Uh -huh. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shad. Uh -huh. So he said, that is who, 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 That's where we get testimony from. The, remember what we, last scripture says to the law and to the testimony. So he says, I have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Worship the most high, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So the testimony of Yahweh Shai, who you who a lot of these camps ignorantly call him Jesus Christ. Alright, the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is a spirit of prophecy, man. Alright, you gotta have the law and you gotta have the testimony, which is prophecy, man. And put them together. They go together perfectly, like peanut butter and jelly, man. Alright. Any, any, anything else? You are trying to add to and do this and take away this and hey, you're going off, man. All right, you're going off. You got to prophesy, man. If you, if, 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 hey, I, I talked to a brother the other day, man. Um, and he was actually with this damn bug out camp. I, I, I used to do it prior to coming to the truth. All right. And I asked him, I said, what's the mark of the beast? Oh, I, oh, I think it's twofold. I asked him, I said, okay, what's, what, 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 what's Jacob's trouble? Oh, I, I, got, I, I have an idea. I, 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 what? What? You're supposed to know these things, man. And if you don't know these things, then guess what? The people who have taught you or didn't teach you, so, 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 uh, 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 so to say, have failed you, man. All right? If, you, if they, they ain't taught you these important things in the scriptures, man, they failed you, man. All right? And ultimately, you, you need to get from around those guys. All right? Because they, they, they just bullshit. These guys going to Puerto Rico and going here and going there. But they ain't prophesying. They ain't taught you, ain't taught you the market to be shit. They ain't taught you Jacob's trouble yet. They ain't taught you the art temptation yet. You, that's the problem, man. Y'all over there bullshit. Y'all playing games. Con, right. And the thing is, is you can know all the laws, man, and you're still going to be breaking them first and foremost. Yep. And second of all, let's say you're keeping a majority of the laws. All right. You keep the Sabbath. You keep the high holy days. You do this. You do that. But you go and take that microchip because your, your uh, uh, camp ain't teaching you. Yep. Well, you're slated for judgment. Yep. All right. Yep. So if you take that microchip, you're going to eat a nuclear missile, man. So you can know all the laws. You can even keep a majority of them. Mm -hmm. But if you take that chip, which is prophecy, Right? That means you're gonna end up being in the lake of fire, man. Yep, yep. And the precept of the what the mother just said, Romans chapter two, verse twenty-three, thou that makest thy boast of the law through breaking the law, dishonorest the most high. Right, so they boast about the law and they always talking about the law, the law, the law, and how much oh, where your fringe is out on your t shirt. Oh, well, well, why ain't you ain't doing this? Why you ain't doing that? But the whole time they're breaking the same law, man. Exactly. Right. All right, every single day they probably got mixed fabric on. All right, they, they probably didn't keep the true Sabbath, which is not Friday to Saturday. The Sabbath is based according to the moon. All right, you got a lot of camps that keep Friday, Saturday, Sabbath, man. That's not the real Sabbath. All right, so you boast about the law, but you breaking the law, man. Right. And you're going to be a, a, a judge, man. 
Just like you just, hey, no better than the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man. Yep. They uh, what, what, how does it go? They uh, 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 they swallow a camel and strain at a net. Yep. All right, because they omitted the weightier matters of the law, that's faith, right. grace, and mercy, man. That's right, that's right. So they might know, okay, I'm not supposed to eat crab pork shrimp lobster, but they ain't got no grace. <laughs> they ain't exercising faith. They don't have mercy. They trying to stone their brother just for uh, oh, you ain't got fringes on your t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. And that's fucking wicked, man. All right, that right there is absolute wickedness. That showed you that niggas can get right. All right, if, if them niggas, niggas in that spirit, they, 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 they ain't right yet, man. They still niggas, man. You gotta be a nigga to think that you you better than this man because you, because because you don't eat pork. What about what about all the other shit, man? Because the scripture says if you break one law, you break them, you break them all, man. You break them all. They don't want to talk about that shit though. But it's about the law, the law, the law. Listen, nigga, if you <laughs> the, the, the same law I, I done broke, you done broke the same damn the same thing. Cause what? You ain't keeping all of them, man. Every day. And we all fall Every short day. of glory. So they, we ain't, we ain't perfect yet. All right. So you, you don't get high and mighty and both in the law, man. Appreciate to go go with brother with Sando. Galatians chapter two, verse sixteen. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, mm. he word knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, mm. but by the faith of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right, and it takes faith to prophesy, man. That's right. To see things before they happen and to have faith to go out and prophesy, it, hey, that takes an immense amount of faith, man. That's right, that's right. And faith is a gift, man. So if you don't got it, you don't got it, man. Yep, hey, and that right there is a strong lot to have because you have prophesied, <laughs> hey, five years ago we was out prophesying, man, people was going to us crazy. It, 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 we, they thought we was lunatics, so we was out of our mind, but now it's not looking so crazy, man. All right, so it, it takes strength to go out there and look crazy in front of the whole world, all right, to be made fools for Yahweh Shai's sake. And all of a sudden now, it, everything we said started to make sense, man. All right, but that, that took time and patience. That took faith. Con, and all that right? scripture said that knowing, therefore, that no one's going to be justified by the deeds of the law, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so we keep the law, but that's not, it's, the Lord ain't coming back to say, okay, well, let's see, let's check them off. He kept this law, he kept that law, he kept this law. All right, well, he didn't keep all 613, yeah. Yep. No, nah, man, that's not how it, it we're going to be justified by our faith, man. Now, faith without works is dead, so we established the law. But you got camps out here that revolve their whole camp and their whole doctrine is about the law. Yeah, yeah. All right? They don't have the testimony, man. And they'll tell you that that they're keeping the law can save you when nobody's keep keeping the law perfectly, man. Yep. All right, so, so those guys don't have it, all right? Sure. But let me finish this up. It says, uh, even we have... Uh, so I'm going to bring it back. Let's just chapter 2, verse 16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, even we have believed in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach that we might be justified by the faith of HaMashiach yep. and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Now, a Christian will read this and say, look, the law is done away with. Mm. All right, we don't got to keep the law. That's not at all according to the scriptures, man. We still got to establish the law and keep the law to the best of our ability, man. All right, so you these these Christians don't got it either, man. <laughs> yo, yo, your modern day Christian church goer does that not is. have the truth. All right, they teaching you lies in that church. All right, because God is not all love. All right, God is, is not, the law is not done away with. All right, so that's why we're out here to establish the truth according to the Holy Bible, man. All right. Hey, uh, this is Romans chapter 3. Verse, right, right. You got it? Nah, go ahead. Oh, con. This is Romans chapter 3, verse, um, what was I at? Uh, I'm going to start at. Go to verse 3 real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, verse 3, what, what's up, dog? Oh. Yeah. Um, Romans chapter 3, verse 3, for what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Right, so if you don't believe the prophecies in this book, does that mean that Hey, there's just, uh, oh, because you don't believe now the mark of the beast ain't going to come. Or you don't believe that the law is, oh, the law is not done away with. Well, I don't believe that, so I'm going to continue to eat crab, pork, triple lobster. Well, that don't mean that it's not true, man. Yeah. Go ahead. For the most, uh, uh slug in. How about Shemir Asai for, for bed? Yeah, let the most high be true with every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Right, so we're gonna keep the sayings that are written in the book, man. Now, the scriptures talk about, should we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. All right, God forbid. So we don't continue in sin, which sin is the transgression of the law. All right, so we don't continue to eat crab, pork, shrimp, and lobster. Once you know better, you're supposed to do better, man. That's right. All right, but there's certain laws that you're not gonna be able to keep here, man. Yeah. All right? That's I'm gonna, why, that's I'm gonna why jump down to, uh, 
Oh, you go, brother. I'm gonna jump down to verse 31. It says, Do we then make void the law through faith? Right, because that's what these Christians say. Oh, we're gonna be justified by faith, so we don't gotta keep the law no more. All right, we don't gotta keep the law no more because we're gonna be justified through faith. Well, what did Paul say? And these Christians love to go to Paul, but they won't ever bring this out. Go ahead. It says, Do we then make void the law through faith? The most high forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. So we establish the law, man. Now we 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 establish the law because it's it's scriptural. Alright, so you got you got certain Christian pastors that'll say if you keep the law, that's sin. If you're keeping the law, that is sin. That's that's not according to the scriptures, man. We yeah. gotta keep the laws according to the scriptures, man, to the best of our ability, man. Right. Now we're not out here telling you to be perfect, man. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna be perfect. But once you know better, you do you do better, man. And one of the laws, you ain't supposed to cut your flesh. You got all these guys in these camps still getting lines up and, and shit. Yeah. Right? And they, 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 they Yeah, they got dreads. You put alcohol in that lineup, you get, you, it burns a little bit, right? Why is that? Because you cutting your flesh, man. Right, yeah. IUIC, man, they, they got the sharpest edge. Yep, yep. Straight edge, boy. Right on, right on it, man. Hey, and those guys trying to be cute, man. Bald fades and all. They try, they're trying to be cute, man. They, they ain't worried about what's most important, which is prophesying to get up out of America. They're trying to get comfortable here, and they're trying to get fucking cute for America, man. Yeah. Showing you why the Lord is dealing with these guys, man. Because uh, they, they are still carnal. You uh, see us out here, we, we ain't got no edges up, man. We ain't got no fucking lines up and shit. We out here fucking looking rough, man. We looking rough. You know why? Because, right. hey, it ain't. A, we, we, we got a higher purpose, man. We ain't trying to be the flyest guys on the block, man. We trying to get the fuck up out of here. We trying to get off the block. Hell, what? hey. We don't even go to no barbershops no more, man. No, man. Hey, we cut our own shit, man. And we don't care how the fuck it looks at the end, man. Yeah, yeah. guess what? Hair grows back, man. <laughs> we ain't fucking bitches, man. We ain't gonna cry over spilt milk. Hey, look at that. It looks like a cherry right there, boy. Yeah, it does. Look at that right there's a cherry. Wow. Yeah, put, 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 put the camera on that. Where? And, 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 and that's how close the Lord is, man. So we ain't thinking about building no community. We ain't thinking about trying to uh, 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 be the next damn mega church. We trying to get up out of here, man. Right. All right, that's the whole point is to get to, to, to get out of Babylon because we in hell right here, man. Yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, what irks me about it is what, what irks us brothers is people come up and they ask questions. Well, what do you think? What do, I want to know what you believe. And that's the whole basis and foundation of these other camps like IUIC, man. It's based upon what they think and what yep, they believe, yep, man. Yep. Not in these the scriptures, scriptures, man. Yep. yep. Uh, this is and, and that's a very very, very good point brother yep. that, that that's right that area is the truth man it's, it's what these guys is oh well you, you asked what the market beast is i heard um I, I think it was um that guy fucking um that hotel nigga asked this is a buck what 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 do you think the market beast is he said oh well where we believe oh well we teach well no we didn't ask what you teach what you mean we asked you what 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 what, what the market beast is man all right according to the scriptures not according to zabak not according to uh, hoy according to the scriptures man I mean, you're supposed to show us this with the scriptures, man. Stand on it. Uh, please sort of go along with that. Kyle, go ahead, brother. This is uh, the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, chapter chapter 1, verse 10. Now, I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, that ye be, that ye all speak the same thing. That ye all do what? Speak the same thing. So we're supposed to be speaking the same thing. All right, and, and you don't see that in Israel right now. Now you see that in the camp of Great Millstone. We all have the same spirit. We're in a, we're in agreement, man. But all these other guys, man, they'll have unity camps, and they'll all speak three different doctrines, four different doctrines. They call by five going off, names. man. Right, called by exactly, going off, man. All right, read that again. And that's why we tell brothers, it's not about saving all Israel. We're yep. not here to get all Israel. Our our job is not to gather all Israel, man. They'll bring out that scripture, uh, uh, gather ye together, uh, nation uh, not yeah, desired. Yeah, desire, yeah. What is that? Zephaniah 3, uh -huh. I believe. We we're, we're, we're really don't understand that scripture, man. Right. We're talking about the, hey, you got to be gathered together in, 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 in one likeness, man. Uh, uh, hey, come together in one mind. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead, brother. What y'all have? Go ahead. It says that, that ye speak all, I mean, so like, that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you right and hey that the lord is telling us to do that man mm -hmm. so right. if there's a division what does the scripture say mark them that cause the visions contrary to the doctrine what you have learned man mm -hmm. so if someone has a different doctrine we're not going to go over there and fellowship with them all right because the scriptures tell us hey you're not supposed to do that now we're going to bring it to the brother we're going to let him know hey you're going off here brother you know a uh, 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 st uh, strong rebuke open rebuke is better than secret love we're going to let you know you're going off if you don't get right, all right, stay over there. Teach what you want to teach over there. We're going to teach what we teach over here, man. And that's right. it. At the end of the day, the truth is going to be declared, man. Uh, and the true prophets are going to be declared. Go ahead, Art. That there be no divisions among you, 
but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Perfectly joined together in the same mind, the same judgment, man. These camps don't got that, man. These other camps do not have that, man. A lot of division in these other camps, man. Ah. Yeah, they might be in order on the outward appearance. You know, they might they got IUIC doing a hundred thousand man march. Yeah, y'all right? got on uh, the same search. The they same they garment. march in the same way. But when you really dig deep into their doctrine, and you might let's say you go there for one day just see see what's going on. It's gonna be a a, a, a damn disaster. All right, behind closed doors, man. Uh -huh. You got the women in there uh, uh, rapping. <laughs> you got a whole bunch of bugged out <laughs> shit going on, man. Hey man, I can't be, I can't begin to understand these unity camps, man. Right. All right, you because somebody's a hypocrite. All right, you either agreeing or you don't agree, man. Somebody somebody's a hypocrite in that in that whole fucking camp. Yeah. Right. I got a precept. This is uh, Philippians chapter two, verse one. If there be therefore any consolation in Hamashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like minded, having the same love, being of one accord, mm -hmm. of one mind. Of one Damn. accord and of one mind, man. Oh. All right, so if we're telling brothers eight, hey, you're not supposed to, the market of beast, the RFID microchip. And you tell them, brothers, that it's sin, which is completely going off. Going that's not love, man. Huh. All right, love is that we what? Keep uh, uh, keep the commandments of the Most High. The Lord told us to prophesy, man. Right. So if you're not prophesying correctly, that's you're not showing true love to your nation, man. Right. You're really leading them astray, man. Yeah. And yeah. the Lord's going to judge you for that. That's right, that's right. And you might not understand what you're doing is wicked, but that's wicked, man. Even these, um, even these, uh, you know, these, these unity camps, that's fucking wicked, man. Because y'all, y'all, they're for y'all own purpose. Y'all not doing the court to will of Yahweh Bashem Y'all doing y'all own thing, man. And that's wickedness. All right, I'm read a little bit more of this. This says, let nothing be done through strife and vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem another better than themselves. Those guys go out there in unity camps, they're trying to build up their own camp, man. All right, they, they be out there passing out flyers and shit, and one camp trying to get their flyers out fast, and the other camp, this camp, and that camp. Listen, man, that's, 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 all, that's all carnal, man. That's all according to the flesh. All right. <laughs> it wasn't it like that one time it was in Ebor? Oh yeah. Oh that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was that was Sakari, I yep, believe. That was, that was Sakari. Sakari. Yep, that was the branch of Sakari. We, we had a teaching, and they came up on the side of us, and they watched us and shit. And they passed out flies. People passed by us. Hell no, nah, y'all got, gotta get the fuck from out of here, man. Hey, <laughs> fall. You got dude with long, <laughs> colorful hair. Got dude had green hair and shit. Dude like, had long hair and shit. Dude, they swinging their shit in the wind, going off, man. Con. And I got the definition of strife. It says angry or bitter disagreement over fundamental issues. Mm. Now, the new the new camp that came out and started talking out their ass was believers of the way, man. Now, all we do is we give a strong rebuke, man. We let you know you're going off, your doctrine's off, and then they come back with a whole bunch of emotions, do this and do that, through strife, man. A lot of strife. What we do is not a, out of strife, man. We're doing it uh, to get blood off of our hands as it's commanded. All right, warn the people. All right, now, if you're not doing that, you're not doing something right. Now, these other guys, they get emotional, man. You can tell. You start watching their videos. They get, well, I think, well, he did this, and they, well, he said this about me. What? We're telling you you're emotion. going off, man. That's it. Emotions. That's it. And they take it. They did a three-hour video of, of slander and just nonsense, man. Yep, yeah, and yeah, what it is, they, they have, first of all, they lack understanding the scriptures. Second thing is they take everything personally, man. Yeah, yeah. It's all it's all about how they personally feel. Wow, wow, wow. He did this. He said this. Listen, man. Stop getting your fucking emotions, man. That's a female trait, man. That is effeminate to be to uh, be a grown ass man and all your emotions and your feelings. And, and that's what America pushes, man. Yeah. Drink on some. Uh, you got me in my feelings. Uh, all that shit. That's it, 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 bitch made yeah, shit, man. All right, you got to come out of that spirit. Get in the spirit of of, of being a true man. All right, a man is supposed to be what? Rough looking. He's supposed to be rough around the edge. We ain't supposed to be no, 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 Got his name, the one on the right that on the video it had a, a bald fade, man. Guy had a hedge up, bald fade, and he talking smack out of his mouth. Novice, probably only been the truth months, 
whatever, however long, it don't matter. It don't matter how long, but you're a novice, man. You're coming yeah. at elders that have been this thing for 30 years, man. Yep, yep, scripture yep. says rebuke, not an elder. Yep, yep. The scriptures say rebuke, not an elder. So you're going off right there, man. Yep, yep. And you got what's another thing, too. You got a lot of guys that come into this thing, they, they may be fresh. And all of a sudden, they, they start yapping out of the mouth thinking they're big and bad, man. What, what are they doing? They are, um, how that scripture go? Uh, about the new guys that come into this thing, and they pretty much, uh, be quiet. nah, damn it, I just had to escape me, man. Um, damn, how I go? About a guy that just came into this thing, and he, 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 uh, he acting like he know everything. He acting like he know everything. Yeah. Uh, damn, man, I, it, it, it didn't escape me, man. I got a precept, though. But it's, uh, what you got up? Uh, this is Proverbs 9 and 8. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Re mm. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Yep, so a wise man oh, is going to love rebuke, man. Oh, a wise man is going to love rebuke, man. And brothers up here, if, if we're going off, and for instance, I used to have long, longer hair, right? I used to have a longer hair. Now, Tahar did a video of this brother's question that he had asked about, hey, some of these brothers in this camp got long hair they got, 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 got to cut it so what yep. do we do we, we didn't we didn't make a, a slander well this guy said this and this guy said that and da, 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 da. look at this guy's hair and that what did we do that same night we cut our hair yep, off yep. man we didn't get emotional about it man yep it's fucking hair you ain't supposed to get emotional about it and that was what i was saying earlier too is these, a lot of these new guys they come into this thing and and, and and first of all they're emotional as hell they don't they don't really have a full breakdown and when they come into this thing they might learn a couple precepts a couple breakdowns and they get puffed up all right, you see all the time guys get puffed up. Oh, you're talking about right. the puff up scripture? Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was trying to run thinking about, but I ended up believing me, man. Knowledge puffeth up? Knowledge puffeth up, man. Because guys come to get a little bit of knowledge, get a little bit of understanding, all of a sudden they get puffed up and, and, and nobody can't tell them nothing, man. That's those guys that, uh, what's their name, but, 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 but believers are the way? Yeah. Well, you should ask yourself, what way, man? Y'all believers are the wrong way at this point. Right. Because, and them same guys talking about fucking being neighborhood watching. Right, grabbing uh, guns and uh, all this revolution ca ca carnal going, right, yeah. doing revolution and what, what, doing this, what, what, what way y'all going down man because we ain't going down that one down that way Where, Con, right Con. Down, uh, first corinthians 8 and 1 now it's touching things offered unto idols we know that we all have knowledge mm -hmm. right so hey at the end of the day the brothers know that they israelites they yeah. teaching you know the 12 tribes of israel so they got knowledge right go ahead knowledge puff it up they get puffed up man they turn into novices so they come in, they might have been in this thing five, six years or whatever. But who'd you learn the name from? Yep. Where'd the name come from? It came from the elders, man. Yep, yep. Go ahead. But charity edifieth. But charity edifieth, man. And charity is a hey, hey, to do to do something good without without no one looking, no reward for it, man. Yep, yep. So we don't want a reward. We're not rebuking you so we can get some something something out of it, man. And, 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 and ultimately, what it is, it's, it, 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 it is brotherly love, man. Yeah. So if you feel brother come up against you and he he he's trying to correct you, you both have love for this brother. No, he hey, this brother is actually trying to help, help me out. Let, let, me, let me let me let me look into this, man. Don't just get in your emotions, start crying and bitching and whining. <laughs> oh, you always trying to come against me? That's pride, man. And pride can go off before destruction, man. All right, so you can't get puffed up in this thing. A lot of guys, when they do, they might learn, like we said, man, you might learn a couple of breakdowns, they get puffed up, and all of a sudden, you can't, you can't tell them shit. You can't tell them nothing. They, they, they got it all figured out. They the guys now. All right, the Lord, the Lord, that, 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 that right there is pride, and they might not speak, the Lord going to deal, deal with your ass, man. He'll put, he'll put you out the game, like brother said, the example brother did. The elders and apostles have, have rebuked us to have a long hair, and, and, and really, that question I asked, it was a question for all Israel. And I said, I, I asked him for this particular camp, but there's a couple brothers that, you know what I'm saying, all brothers all over, all, 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 all over had, long, had longer hair. What every brother did, started cutting their hair off, man. All right, we ain't cry, we ain't bitch, we ain't moan, we ain't groan about it, we just did it, man. All right, all according to the spirit of y'all by seeing y'all shot. And that's right. order, man. That shows uh, a sense of order, man. And, yeah, yeah, and, and it shows humility. Yep. All right, you're you, you supposed to be humble in this thing, have humility towards the, 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 the scriptures, man, Th towards the order that the Lord has set up. Uh -huh. So if you, you, you got that humility dealing with you, the Lord going to do with you. He said what? Before honor comes it's humility, humility right. man. Right. All right. Uh -huh. So you can't get all fucking proud in this thing and think you got it all figured out. No, we, we always can learn more, man. You're supposed to be constantly trying to doctor, constantly get, get into the scriptures, get into deep, getting a deeper understanding of these scriptures, man. Come on, and you, also be in the same mind, the same body. Exactly. Man. What scripture say? If that right hand offend, you cut it off. That's right. That's right. I got to preach up real quick. It says Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. learning. Yep. That we through patience and comfort of the spirit might have hope. Right, and these scriptures are the comforter, man. All right, now we have hope. So the things that were written aforetime, the, all the scriptures were written for us to learn, man. And not one prophet in the Bible wore t-shirt fringes, man. Just, yep. just to let you know, man. Yep, yep. They're not gonna find one scripture that says, oh, this guy had t-shirt fringes on. Yep, yep. That's, that's, that's a westernized 
Hebrew movement, man. Yep, yep, yep. All uh, right. Well, they call them uh, a, a casual Israelite. Today. Yep. All right. When you go into the, to, to the book of Jeremiah 6 and 16, it tells you to seek the old paths, man. All right. And the old paths was this right here, man. All right. A garment on. What friend is on it? The old paths was this right here. A garment. What friend is on it, man? Con, and All another right. thing, man, I've noticed over the years is a lot of these camps, they used to just wear the t-shirt fringes. Now you start seeing them wearing garments now. Yeah, but yeah. under the garments, they got the t-shirt fringes or whatever, man. And they yeah. get that from, from Great Millstone, really, man. Yeah. All right? And, you know, uh, um, these other guys, man, they have the nicest garments. They'll try to be all uh, just like the scribes and Pharisees, man. We yeah. come out here in sackcloth, man. Yeah, yeah. We're not trying to do nothing crazy, not trying to do nothing extravagant. We coming out here in sackcloth, and that's it. We're going to keep it simple. I got a precept for you. Uh, Hold on. Let me finish this real quick. Right, go it says, um... Uh, the scriptures says that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Mm. Now the most high have oh it's like it. and uh, now the, the the power of patience and consolation grant you to be like minded mm. one to another according to Hamashiach uh, mm. Shai that ye may be of may be with one mind and one mouth glorify the most high. Even the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right, so we're supposed to be of one mind, of one mouth. Now, I might say something about the mark of the beast and break it down, that it's the RFID chip. This brother might break it down in a, another realm, another way, but he's still teaching it's the mark same of the beast. Yep, yep. So we're speaking the same thing, all right? Yeah. So every brother has a different way to teach the word, man. But if it all comes back to the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, man. Yep. You got to teach the truth, man. Now, if, if a brother says, oh, the mark of the beast is sin, we're not in the same mindset. We're not on the same accord. Yep. So we're going to mark you and avoid you. Yep, and that's yep. what we—that's what the brothers did with uh, believers of the way, man. Yep, yep. And they now, mark and, and now we avoid. And that don't mean we hate you. Not at all. I mean, I don't mean we, oh, we hate these guys, catch these guys. No, no, no. But we, we have to, hey, we're going to deal with the proper doctrine, man. Hey, we hope you repent. We hope you repent. We hope you get right. We hope hey. you come in the right stead and, and prophesy the truth, that's man. That's right. Hey, and that right there was the, the, the reason for that rebuke, man. Scripture says through... Um, through a uh, strong, strong, strong rebuke is better than secret love, man. Oh, right. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say I love you, I love you, but I ain't gonna rebuke you. If you're going up, I gotta rebuke you, man. I gotta show you the right way because yep. I love you. If you're walking into the road, we gotta bring this out. An example: If you're walking into the road and it's a semi truck coming, we gonna say, "Hey, get out the road, get out the road," so you don't get hit by that semi truck. If I don't say that, then I don't love you because you won't get hit by the semi truck, and I'm gonna probably be over the world star in your ass. <laughs> That's not love, man. That's not love. All right, if I love you, I'm gonna tell you, get out the road. The truck coming, the truck coming. Now, it might, it, might, it, might, it, might, it might seem, um, you know, it might shake you up a little bit. Grievous, right. Yeah, grievous, because I'm telling you I'm telling you what to do is whatever. But I'm doing it for your own good, man. Yeah, so, and it's that, for your own good. And that's what's wrong with a lot of people. That's why a lot of people going to be in that lake of fire here in America. It's through pride, man. Mm -hmm. We're just simply out here telling you, hey, look, you got to stop eating crab, pork, shrimp, and lobster, man. You got to come back to the laws of the Most High. Yep. Oh, don't tell me what to do. Whole time, a big-ass semi-truck coming to hit you, man. Yep. Oh, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. All right, man, hey. It's nothing but love, brother. Shalom. Take yep, it yep. easy. <laughs> and people, people have the wrong understanding of the, of the Holy Scripture. They have the wrong understanding of the Most High God. Because because what? They, they're worshiping this guy right here, man. Yep. All right. This guy right here is not in the Bible. All right. This right here is a lie. That's been, that's, that has been used to perpetuate uh, white supremacy, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So now all of a sudden you, 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 you look at a brother and you, you're looking down upon him. But you look at a white man, you're looking at him with utmost a, a, a extreme because you you, you, you you worship this right here, man. Are you worshiping lies? You got to come into the, to, to the truth of the knowledge of the Holy Scriptures. And it ain't all, all that lovey-dovey stuff, man. All right, these scriptures right here, this, it, this what they call a good book is also a grievous book too, man. All right, there, there's, there's a lot of wars and, 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 and pestilence and destruction in this book. Matter of fact, we come out here to prophesy war and just death and destruction and pestilence hey, upon this place, man. Hey, speaking of which, the, this new guy Biden, right? They just had the inaugura inauguration. What do all the presidents swear on? They swear on the Bible. The Bible tells you're not supposed to swear on anything, first and foremost. Yeah, yeah. The Bible also condemns homosexuality. So why aren't they pushing that law? Yeah. If they're going to swear on the Bible... Why, why aren't you pushing the laws of the Bible? Yep, it's yep. because we're being ruled over by the devil right now. That's right. The devil is the Edomites, man. The Caucasian European race, man. That's right. They are the devil of the Bible, man. All right? Uh, I got that revelation real quick. If you and want to... And notice, everything always ties back down to the yeah, scriptures, man. Somewhere. That's how you know we live, in, we live in, in the truth right now. This is the truth among the earth, man. All right? We, we dealing hey, with the devil. This is Jake. Okay? This is Yahweh Shah versus Esau, man. All right? I got that. I got that Malachi one and four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go bring it out. Oh no, I got second. I got different precepts. Go ahead, go ahead, grab, 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 grab what I told you to get first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab that. Uh, it's the book of Sirach, chapter thirty-nine, verse one. 
But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High. So you got to give your mind to the law, man. All right, to the law of the Most High, which is what? Like, like we're saying, you must keep, keep off the best of your ability, man. We don't keep it perfectly. We got to try to the best of our ability to keep it, keep it perfectly and give your mind to it, man. So when, if, you, if you see, you see, you see a, 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 a bacon sandwich right here, you know that in my mind, I'm not supposed to eat that, man. All right, ain't no, oh, well, the Lord gonna forgive me, the Lord gonna forgive me, the Lord gonna, no. You gotta have in your mind, give your mind to the Lord, to the Lord. That, that, that train pulls, uh, you got a lot of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Shit. Yeah, that's Esau, man. Esau, just, they, think they, run the, they think they run the whole world, man. Taking up a lot of space. Taking up a lot of space. Look at that, she's taking up Take 10 up. feet. You got fucking five the dogs. Whole taking up the whole spot. Get the mutts out of here, man. What's going on here, brother? Sarah, chapter dog, 39, verse legs. one. <laughs> Sarah 39 verse 1, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high uh -huh. and is occupied in the meditation thereof uh -huh. will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient. So you're gonna seek out the wisdom of all the ancient, man. The, the, the ancient hey, wisdom, not to understand it, man. You be supposed, supposed to be in this thing, deep into this thing, man. All right, you ain't supposed to just be trying to uh <laughs> straddle along the fence, man, trying to get by. All right, so y'all bring, bring, bring this back because we got a lot of damn good distractions going on today right now, man. Sarah 39 verse 1, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is and is occupied in the meditation thereof. Uh-huh, you gotta be occupied in the meditation thereof. Go ahead. Well, seek out the wisdom of all the ancient mm -hmm. and be yeah, occupied in prophecies. Tomorrow, and be occupied in prophecy, man. So we're supposed to be occupied in prophecy. So it ain't about, this, these guys come to this thing and then they stuck at the law. They, 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 it's like pre-K, man. All right, the pre-K teach you how to, how, teach, you, teach you your ABCs, your colors. <laughs> that, that, that's the law, man. All right, that's, that's, that's the basics. Exactly and they right. stuck at it, they, 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 they still <laughs> babes, man. They, 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 they stay on that, uh, on, 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 on that yeah. law. But the scripture says you're supposed to be meditating and occupied in prophecy, man. Right. So, so and they try to stay in the comfort zone. They try to stay where, where, where it's safe at. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like little ass kids on training wheels. They try to stay on the training wheels, man. They come a point in time you go, you, you too grown to be on the training wheels, man. You too damn big. <laughs> big baby. It's, it's time to get some meat inside you, man. You can't just stay on pretending forever. You got to get some meat, man. All right? You got to be occupied in these prophecies, man. Now, that's what he, when, when you go into prophecies, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to test you a little bit, man. Yeah, come. And now, All when right? you first come into the truth, it's like you, you're being reborn again. Right, so you got to deal with the basics of the scriptures. Yeah, you got to deal with the law. Get deal with right, the understand the basics, that. right? Uh, but as you grow in this truth, you're supposed to uh, uh, start eating some meat, like a baby. That's when right. a baby's born, he's nourished off That's the right. breast milk, yeah. right? Which is the milk of the scriptures. Now, when that baby starts to grow up, you know you're not feeding that baby breast milk no more. That's right. All right, you yeah. start to feed that baby what meat. Different, different, uh, uh, different, different foods, man. Uh. These other Israelites, they're not growing up. Okay, in this truth, you're supposed to grow in the grace thereby. Yep. In this truth, you're not, you're never supposed to stay the same. Uh -huh. Hey, every since I came into this truth, man, I've learned something new every single day. Yep, yep, yep. And if you're not learning something new every day, then you're staying the same. You're not growing, man. Yep. Scripture says to grow in the grace thereof, man. So right now we have grace. So you're supposed to be growing in this thing. Don't try to stay stagnant. You gotta be living waters flowing, man. You can't stay stagnant. But you got some guys that come into this thing and they and that's their lot, man. They they they, they, they just try to. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they're stagnant. They ain't growing. They're not. They're not bearing any fruit. And because of that, they they they, 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 they don't. It don't. It don't last long, man. Hey, the, the Lord told you to be on fire for the truth, man. Mm -hmm. So if you was on fire for your rap career or your your uh, digital career, whatever it is, you got to be on fire for this truth, man. Yep, yep. Hey, I got a precept real quick. This is uh First Corinthians chapter three verse one, and I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual. Right. But as unto carnal. Right. And the, the uh, prophecies is spiritual, man. All right. To tell you something before it happens is a spiritual uh, uh, knowledge, man. It's yep, spiritual yep. knowledge. Go ahead. It's so a, hey, Paul is saying, I couldn't speak to these guys spiritually. spiritually yep, I yep. had to speak to these guys carnal. Yep, Go yep. ahead. And this, and this is talking about the church of Corinth because he got in, all of them a lot of different Israelites, man. He dealt with Israelites that, 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 that was spiritual and Israelites that was carnal. And some of them, the carnal, they just can't get it, man. You got guys out there that just can't get it, and and, and, and that's not their fault. It's just the way, way it is, man. And these are the true Israelites, man. Yep, yep. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are the true people of the Bible. That's right. You know, when you talk, you hear about the Jews and the, the Israelites and Israel. Jerusalem. That's it, Jerusalem. We are those people. Our heritage was stolen from us, man. Yep. But a lot of Israelites are carnal still. Yep, They're still yep. of this world. They've been indoctrinated in this American society, man. Yep. That's right. America taught you lies, man. From the day you was born, you were singing Star Spangled Banner and shit, yep. which yep. is which represents your slavery, man. You have your own, your own captivity, man. All right, you, you are glorying in your own captivity. You got, you got these people over here bra uh, bragging and, and boasting about uh, Biden getting in the office. You are 
<laughs> praying and boasting for your own slave master, man. Yep. That's your new oppressor, man. Hey, the scriptures say trust not in oppression, man. These guys trust in oppression, man. You guys, you know, they they, they wear the uh, um, American hat. You you looking bugged out, man. You got American flags on, 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 on your shirt. And you know, you know what that represents? That, rep these damn devils. that represents uh, uh, those chains, man. You still got chains on your mind, man. So you might not be physically in chains now, but now you got chains on your mind to where you think yeah, yeah. this is where you're supposed to be. Yeah, Mentally yeah. enslaved. Yeah. Mentally enslaved, man. It says, um, it says, uh, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Hamashiach. Right, so I, Paul oh. had to speak to the church of Corinth as babes. Yep, yep. Right, as little children. Yep. So he kept it simple with them. Yep, Go yep. ahead. Some guys, you gotta, you gotta keep it simple because some guys just can't get it, man. Right. It says, I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For here there are uh, two, ye were not able to bear it. Right, so if you have a baby, right, and you try to feed this baby a T-bone steak, it's going to end up choking and dying. Mm -hmm. Right, so there's certain Israelites that you cannot teach these certain Israelites deep knowledge. Yep, yep. Because they'll end up choking and dying. They'll bug out. So we'll we'll try the spirit, we'll throw you a little T-bone steak here and there, but if you can't handle it, all right, we're just going to, let's just deal with the milk with this guy. Yep, yep, this yep. guy just needs the milk. Yep. Which... At the end of the day, as long as you learn and you grow on, ain't nothing wrong with that. Some brothers gonna learn at different paces. We understand that. But the point is to grow. To grow. To keep to keep growing, man. The point is you gotta grow. Now you might you might be you might you might be at your own pace, but you gotta you gotta keep keep pushing. The problem the problem lies where guys just stop where they at. They get comfortable. I'm, I'm comfortable right here. I'm gonna stay right here on 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 on, on, on my damn little lily pad. No, you gotta keep leaping, man. Told you. Keep, keep 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 on leaping, man. Hold on. Hey, the world even teaches that, man. All right, when you when you in school, you have to graduate, man. Yeah. All right, these guys can, these guys cannot graduate. Trying to stay in first says, grade. <laughs> <laughs> scripture says the law is a schoolmaster, man. Uh -huh. All right, uh -huh. they got it. It's time to graduate. Hey, these guys don't want to graduate. And the scriptures say once faith comes in, you're no longer under that schoolmaster. Mm -hmm. So really, these guys don't have faith, man. Right. And like the scriptures say, faith is a gift, man. Faith is a and faith yeah. is believing in something that you can't see. Mm -hmm. All right, which. Hey, these scientists, they, they have a, a form of faith. They talk about the Big Bang Theory. Yep, yep. All right, but th but then they'll go and degrade the Most High. Yep. Bugging out, man. It says, um, neither yet now are ye able, for ye are not are yet carnal, for whereas there are among you envying and strife and divisions, and ye are not carnal, and walk as men. Or it's like, are you not are ye not carnal and walk as men? Right, so if you got strife, yeah. envying, you're ultimately not going to be able to understand the meat because you're you're not right within yourself. Yep. You're not in this thing for the true reason, yep, yep. which is to feed the lambs, feed the sheep, edify, and prophesy, man. Yep. If you're not doing that, the Lord's not going to give you the meat. He's going to blind your eyes, man. Uh, hey, I had a question for you, brother. Uh, do you, do you, do you, well, first of all, do, do you have any questions? Come over here. That's a good question. That's a very good question. Beautiful question. Having white skin. Um, well, yes, it is because ultimately having white skin. Somebody, somebody grabbed me that. Um, uh, the, leprosy. Um, yeah, leprosy. Ultimately, having light skin is a curse. All right, to have light skin uh, or, or uh, white skin is not a good thing. And by the way, the, 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 this guy's skin right here is not white. All right, white is the color of, of your shirt. This man's skin is red. All right, the so-called white people, their skin is not white; it's red. It's different variations of pink. You know what I mean? Because why? Their skin is translucent, and the blood shows forth through their skin. All right, and that right there was ultimately a curse put upon them, the, the uh, curse of Cain, because what, what Cain did to Abel. You, you know about that story, right? About Cain and Abel, how uh, uh, Cain killed his brother Abel. Well, that right there was the so-called white man in, in, his, in one of his past lives, one of, one of his, his, his generations, and he had to get, Lord put a curse upon him called the curse of Cain. All right, so to, in, order to have, in order to have this white skin right here, this was a mark of Cain put upon Esau to show the whole world that this man is a devil. Con, All right. So I got this real quick. This is Leviticus 13 and 2. When a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising, a scab, or bright spot, uh -huh. and it be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy. So, so the, 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 the plague of leprosy is the actual disease that causes dark skin to turn white. You understand what I'm saying? Or uh, 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 it'll have no pigment. Yeah, transparent. Right? Transparent. Go ahead. Right? It says, then he shall be brought... Uh, unto Aaron the priest or unto one of his sons and the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh and when the hair in the plague is turned white and the plague in the sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh it is a plague of leprosy mm -hmm. and the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean oh. so it's an unclean thing these people that are out here getting that are called white people 
They have a plague of leprosy. Yep. Blonde hair is a plague of leprosy. Yep. Blue yep. eyes is a plague of leprosy. Now, this is all scripture. Now, you're going to have Israelites, right, that have a lighter complexion. So you're going to have so-called Negroes that are going to come out a lighter complexion. Yep. Yep. Now, you're still an Israelite. But in the, in the kingdom, when the Lord comes back, he's going to give us all back our melanin, yep, yep. our natural look. It's not natural to have the plague of leprosy. Yep. That's not a natural thing. You understand? And, and, and ultimately, the Lord and the, and the, the, the Heavenly Father, the, the, the Messiah, the prophets of old, they all were dark-skinned men, according to the Bible. So when you, were looking, when you go to church and teaching this guy right here, this is a lie. This is not in the Bible. And, and matter of fact, we're going we, 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 we to prove that. The Messiah, like this, according to the Holy Bible, he was a so-called black man according to the Bible. All right, we don't prove that with the scripture because they don't teach you that in church. All right. So, 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 so somebody lied to us. Somebody had to deceive the whole world to worship this guy, which is not according to the Holy Bible. That's that's a big problem. You know what I'm saying? Because you got you, you, to worship the Lord. You got to worship Him in truth and sincerity. Right. You got to know who you're worshiping. You can't it, just say, "Oh, I, I, God knows my heart." Yeah. Oh, I, God's all love. Well, you got to study that yep, because yep. there's a lot of scriptures in here that disprove that. Mm -hmm. So, brothers, you know, at one point we all believed in this. We all thought, oh, Jesus is a white man, blah, 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 whatever. But the Lord woke us up. So what did we do? We actually read, started reading the book. When they was teaching us this, we wasn't reading the book. We just, whatever they taught us, we started believing it, right? But when you start reading it for yourself, you're like, damn. So this, the, the Messiah is actually a dark brown skinned man. What else are they lying about? Yep, and then, yep. hey, the rabbit hole continues. That's right. You start That's right. seeing all the lies that they've been telling you. That's right. Because they have mentally enslaved us, man. Yep, yep. We're still in slavery to this day. Yep, yep. Because you worshiping this guy right here. Mm -hmm. When the Messiah was a so-called uh, uh, dark brown skinned man. That's right. All right, That's from right. the tribe of Judah. That's right. What's your nationality, brother? I'm Hispanic. So your dad is what? Puerto Rican, Cuban? Dominican. Dominican. Oh, okay, so look, okay. you would you would come from the tribe of Simeon. All right. The yep. tribe of Simeon is the so-called Dominicans. Now, before you called yourself Dominican, before I called myself Puerto Rican, the so-called white man came and beat the shit out of us and said, no, you're no longer going to be Simeon. Yep. You are Dominican now. Yep. Yep. That's how you got the name Dominican. Yep. They beat our heritage out of us. Yep. And that's scriptural as well. The scriptures say that we shall discontinue from our, our heritage. heritage. Yep, yep. So we lost our heritage. We Thank lost who we are. Let me let's grab it. Beautiful. Grab hey, and, and another point you say, you say, you say, I'm Hispanic, right? Oh, beautiful. Hey, hey, and when you say Hispanic, the word Hispanic means property of Spain. Because yep. your people were sold to the Spaniards. Yep. All right. So that means property of Spain. I, I actually went and went to work the other day and we went to a place called um um old Spaniard Town or whatever. Mm -hmm. A bunch of plantations out there, man. <laughs> bunch of plantations because the Spaniards were the ones who had our people in, in captivity in, in slavery and they don't teach us this either about the uh, Latinos is that we actually went into slavery too on slave ships but they, they try to hide that history mm -hmm. in 1492 when Christopher Columbus came over here he was raping he was robbing he was murdering and then he sold us over there to Spain yep all right and we were enslaved too we was in chains too we yep, was getting yep. hung from trees too yep yep there was a time where Hey, the, 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 the so-called Negroes are going on slave ships, and the, the so-called Native Americans was getting off the slave ships. Yep. So, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't nothing changed. Or we, 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 we would get off a, a, a ship, and they'll put the so-called uh, Native right. Americans on the so slave So when, when, you know the transatlantic slave trade? Uh, when the Negroes came over here to America? When the Negroes got off the slave ships, who'd they pack on them slave ships? They put us on them slave ships, yep, and they yep. sent us to Spain. Yep. All right? So... And ultimately, that is that shows that we're the same people. Yep, yep. Oh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they gave us these bywords to separate us. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a Negro. This is a Puerto Rican. This is a Dominican. This is a Mexican. Yep. Right? But ultimately, we're all the same people. That's right. We come from the same people. We come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're the true people. Now, you ask, where, where's that scripture? This is Jeremiah chapter 17. In verse four. Hey, hold on. So, hey, we'll ask you this. Are, are you about to grab it? I'm, I'm about to uh, read it with us. Read it. Yeah. All right. Make sure you read the KJV, though. King, yeah, King James version. KJV. Go ahead. King James version. This is Jeremiah 17 and four. And thou, con. <laughs> you good, bro? You, you good? got it. Man. Good. Yeah, you good, brother. You good. I'll wait for you for sure. This is beautiful, man. You know, hey, Israel is waking up in these last days, man. And the elect are gonna wake up. The people who are, are destined to get salvation are going to wake up. Hey, the, 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 the Lord say, the Lord say, my sheep hear my voice. Yep. And this brother kept, was riding through. Every, see everybody was passing by. They keep going and stuff. That brother right there stopped, man. The brother right there stopped too. So we gonna we gonna do him too. All right. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> and four. 
Yep. It says, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So what, what does it mean to discontinue from, from something? Me, 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 meaning you are no longer dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? So instead of us calling ourselves Israel, instead of us calling ourselves the, the, from the tribes of the Hebrew Israelites, we started calling ourselves uh, uh, Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. We have discontinued from our heritage. Go ahead. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So everywhere we were scattered all over the earth, instead of serving the Lord, we were serving our enemies. We, 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 instead of worshiping the, 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 the true Messiah, we were, we were worshiping the lie. You, 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 you understand? This is continue, this continuing from our heritage by worshiping this guy. Because when you worship this guy, you get you celebrating what? Christmas. All right, you celebrate Easter, Thanksgiving. All right, but in reality, those are pagan holidays. Those are pagan right. customs. Those are worshiping false gods. We have our own uh, 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 high holy days, like the Passover, the new moon, the uh, 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 Sabbath, uh, Sabbath uh, uh, the Feast of Tabernacles, Feast of, you know, yeah. uh, 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 Feast of Dedication, yeah. Day of Atonement, we, yeah. We, we have our own separate holidays, high holy days, but we should be celebrating their customs. You, you, know, you know how America is established by laws and regulations? Well, we had our own laws. We were our own a quote unquote government at one time. Yep. But we discontinued from our heritage. Our heritage is a way of life, man. Mm -hmm. Now we're coming back to the heritage. That's why you see all these uh, uh, prophecies taking place. That's why you see this virus and all the uh, rising, the uproars and all that. It's because the people of the book are waking up now. Yep. So the Lord's about to judge this place tremendously. Tremendously. Uh, all right. Now it says, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. So the Lord said the people that we serve, primarily the white man, is our enemy. The scriptures also talk about us going into slavery on slave ships. Yep. In Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 68, it tells you that we would literally go into slavery on slave ships. Yep. And whoever was buying us and selling us is our enemies. Yep. So we're not supposed to love everybody. We're supposed to love our fellow brothers and sisters. We're supposed to be an example for the world. But at the end of the day, we're not supposed to be united with all these other nations, man. Yep, yep. All right? And he's other Jesus say to love like, your neighbor? Yeah, yeah, love yeah. your neighbor. You're my neighbor. This brother's my neighbor. And why is a Caucasian yeah. person not my neighbor? Because originally we was in our own land. They, we, they, they weren't allowed to uh, dwell among us. We, we, we had our own land. Right now we in the land of America. So in America, everybody's mi mixing me together, which is which, which is off. That's wicked. We're not supposed to be mixing me together. But in our own land, it was just us. We, we, we was neighbors. For instance, e Esau, the so-called white man, he had his own land. Yeah. And they were, everyone had their own land at one point where there was no mingling. So when, it's, when the Lord said, love your neighbor, he's talking about your fellow Israelite brothers right, right, and sisters. Yep, yep. These, are, these are our neighbors. All right, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon. These are our neighbors. So right, right now, as we stand right now, these people, they hate each other. The Lord said to love your, to love your, your neighbor, but our people, they hate each other. You got black on black crime, black on Hispanic crime, Hispanic on Hispanic crime. But in reality, when you look at the so-called white man, we all love, love, love the so-called white men though, right? But we hate each other. That right there shows you that that right there was not. That's not. That scripture is, is brought out of context because in reality we're supposed to be loving each other. That Lord said the scripture says to live peacefully amongst all men. So we ain't gonna go out and try to go kill. You know what I'm saying? White people and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come. It's gonna come a time for that, but not right now. All right. Right now, it's time for us to get back and come together as the children of Israel to love each other. Come you know back to your heritage. Back to your heritage. If you lost your heritage, it's only right to come back to who you are. It's, it's, uh, it's only logical. If you figure out, damn, wait, I'm an Israelite? What else have they lied to me? It's only logical to come back to who you are. Yep. And that's what we're out here doing. And we're not here for everybody. Yep. We understand not everybody's gonna wanna hear this truth. Just like not everybody wanted to hear who you call Jesus yep. when he was on earth. He was, hey, people didn't wanna hear him. They put him on a cross yep. Yep. for preaching what? The truth. Yep. Guess yep. what? Brothers up here, we are gonna be persecuted because we preaching the truth. That's Just right. like the prophets of old time were persecuted that's for right. preaching the truth. Right. We're hey. not here to respect, we're not here to gain a whole entourage and get money. We don't care about that because we know America is going to be destroyed soon. That's the right. whole land of America. Uh, from from where we're at right now in Florida to New York to California, 100% of America is going to be burnt. Obliterated. What nuclear fire. You know what a nuclear missile is? It's biblical prophecy that America is going to get hit with nukes. Turn that sign around. Very soon. In the, in the scriptures? You want to, you want to, you want to see in the scriptures? Uh, All right. Hey, also, uh, another point you brought out, you said, why, why, why? Is there something wrong with the white Get arrows shot from one end of the earth. The white skin. Get arrows shot from one end of the earth, brothers. So-called white men. No, no, no. Isaiah, uh, skin, arrows shot from one end of the earth. Second Ezra 15, I believe, something like that. Yeah. Arrows. Uh, what happened? The second Ezra 15. 15 and 20 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrows shot from one end of the earth. Ezra's had that. You ever notice how when they portray the devil, 
They show him a red stand and a pitchfork. In the cartoon and stuff. What what what, what colors are so called white men when they turn? Whenever they get mad, whenever they get angry, whenever they get happy, whenever they get anything, they turn red. Boom. Yep. Because that that that, that they're, they're spiritually, they're sitting on the stage. They, they are the spawn of Satan, and they show it. Because what happened? They, 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 they the ones that did this to us. That the sign there. They they, they they the ones that, that did this right here to us. They hung us from trees. They fed our babies to alligators. A whole lot. They, 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 they used to hang us. They used to set us on fire. When they, when they, when they, when they hung us, they used to cut, 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 cut off our rods, our penises. They used to cut off our penises, man, and our balls, and put them in a jar, and then set us on fire. Who who would do that? The devil. Only the devil can give me that diabolical to do that, man. And it, 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 it's, because, it's because, oh, yeah, well, your, your skin is darker than mine. And, and, and really, it's often because of that they understand that we are super people. They, they hate us. They know that we're the ch children of Israel. That's we right. got the birthright. Yeah. Okay, we got the birthright of the kingdom of heaven. And they hate us for that. All right? Now, uh, uh, the, uh, the question, word devil means deceiver. So it's not some guy on the ground with a pitchfork and a tail and he's waiting for you because you, you ate a pork sandwich. Not. The devil walks amongst you every day as the so called white man. Yeah, look at that. Because they are the deceiver. The They'll laugh in your face. Hey, <laughs> brother, the whole time they got a knife behind their back. Every, so, every white person you know, sooner or later, they're going to show their horns. Yep. It might not be one year. Might not be five years, might not be ten years, but sooner or later they're gonna show you why they the devil. Because the Lord created them to be the devil. Yep, yep. And they're gonna show out, they're gonna let you know, and you're gonna see. Alright? Yep. As soon as you get an argument, they're gonna call you a nigga or a spick. Yep. As you soon as you get you get mad with them, <laughs> you damn wet back spick being her, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> John, Johnny, I thought we were friends. <laughs> You understand? I thought you were this, right. is this, is, this is reality. It's true. When you hey. come, hey, when you come to the prophets, man, when you come to the true men of the Lord, we deal with reality. Yeah. We're right. gonna teach you a false dream. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna let you know what it is. Hey, your brother got a precept. Uh, this is Psalms fifty-five twenty-one. This is talking about Esau. Beautiful. Uh, this is talking about how they, how they, but hypocrite themselves. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. So when Christopher Columbus came here. He had smooth words. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Hey, we're gonna make treaties with Don't you run. guys. We love you guys. You guys are great. I love it. But the whole time they were calling us savages. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. His words were softer than oil. Clean words. Go ahead. Yet they, yet were they drawn swords. So they had soft words, but the whole time they were thinking about war, how to kill you. And that's every single one of these people. All right, go ahead. Um. Cast thy burden upon Yahweh, the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Right, right. so the righteous ultimately going to come back to the truth, man. Listen, right. you don't want to be here in America when nukes hit. You ever been burned before? Like you might burn yourself in a lighter or anything, a stove, touch something hot. It's hot yeah, right, it's, right? Hot. it's hot. Now imagine nuclear fire. You know what a nuke can do? You know what happened in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Yeah. That atom bomb that dropped? Well, a nuclear missile... It's gonna light this whole place on fire, man. There's gonna be millions of nukes that hit this place. You don't wanna be here when them nukes hit. I promise you that. Now, at the end of the day, if you're predestined to wake up, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna make it out of here. If you're not, anybody else that's not gonna uh, uh, come to the truth is gonna be dwelling in the lake of fire. Right. Which hey. is America. Hey, before you be going out, I'm gonna grab this right here real quick. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. Right. Which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians? The Most High God is dealing with the children of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. All right. Uh -huh. Here's this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying, because we were in captivity to e in Egypt. Now you got a lot of Israelites that, oh, I'm Egyptian. I'm Egyptian. You was a slave in Egypt, man. Yep, yep. Go ahead. When we was in Egypt. No, no, those pyramids was getting built by what? Hebrew slaves. That's right. We, we, we were those Hebrews getting our backs beat, man. All right, get, 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 get. Hey, they were uh, taking our women. There was all kinds of madness to us, man. You know the pyramids of Giza? The pyramids over there in Egypt? The three pyramids that align with the stars or whatever? The big pyramids. We built those. And, we built those. Hey, and, and that's why on the back of your dollar bill, they got the pyramids and they got an eagle. Yep. There's our two separate captivities that we, 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 we was in Egypt as slavery and we in America as slaves. We got brought here on slave ships. We didn't come over here on a, on a cruise ship, on, on, on a damn private jet. We got brought over here on slave ships. No. But it says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So God is not about unifying all the families of the earth. He said, you only have I known, the children of Israel. The Lord is only dealing with the children of Israel, the Old Testament and the New Testament. He's only dealing with Israelites. 
The Lord doesn't change. It's a beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. Go ahead. It says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Lord's going to punish you for your iniquities, right? So if you got a friend and you and your friend go to do some dumb shit, is his dad going to punish you for what he did? No. Your dad's going to punish you. Just like our father is punishing us, our heavenly right. father. That's why we catch him. Why do you think we went into slavery? We thought that was just a, a, a that just happened because it was supposed to. Listen, that happened because we went off. Hey, the hey, the dude, Lord punished us. The devil, the devil just passed by here, the little, the little white dude in the bike, and he, and he had a buff mitt on on, 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 on his arm. Because they, they know it. Too. They know it. They know the devil, man. They, they worship them. They, they don't believe in the Lord. You ask a so-called white person, not saying that they believe in the most high, they say, no, nah, I, I don't believe I'm, in the Bible. I'm, I'm atheist. That's hey. what they'll say. Now, you might have one that say, but the whole time, they really don't believe. They really don't believe. Not to mention, they don't have a spiritual side to them. They don't have no spiritual conscience. Mm -hmm. They see things carnally. Yep, yep. It, 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 it's all carnal, which means worldly with, with, with the so-called white people, man. They are separate from us. All right? They, 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 but the Bible says that they are our enemy. And how we know that? Because they did that right there to us, man. Wow. Only your enemy would do this to you. They don't love us. So when the, when the, when the Lord came, he said what? I am not Perfect. sent but unto the lost Grab sheep it. of the house of Israel. And guess what? Guess what? You know how they tricked us? They tried to say, oh, well, let's forget about that. I love you now, man. I'm yep, sorry that yep, happened. Yep. Let's forget about that. Now we all think, oh, well, the white man's not so bad after all, right? He gives us he gives us government assistance. He helps us. Listen, they're about to do that again. You yep. know that they're about to come down with great slaughter? These white people are about to come down and start raping, robbing, and murdering again yep. very yep. soon. Very, very soon. And this is this is really and, and, what happened, and man. And it's gonna be worse than than, than than even back then. Yep. They come down with great. That's why you got when you turn on the news, you got this guy Biden talking about we need the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians Ooh. to take that shot. The shot that's killing people, the shot that's making people get uh, facial paralysis and their face falling off and stuff. The same shot. It's something they want us to take it first. They're trying to exterminate us. They want to exterminate us, brother. They want to exterminate you. Yep. The same people. So when they, when they come down with this great wrath, we're going to need protection from our Lord. We're we, 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 we going to want the Lord to save us and deliver. That's why, that's why you got a Lord, who, what, what the Lord is called, the Savior. Yeah, we need a so. Savior because they about to come down and try to destroy us. Yep. And, we, and right now, we don't, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have no military might. We can't go 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 to our military and say, oh, you want to go to war? We're going to go get our military. We don't have a military. We are yet this day in the land of our captivity. We got brought here on slave ships, and we still here to this day, and they want to exterminate us. Every last one of these white people, they hate us. Yep. They might, yep. might smile in your face and say, oh, buddy, oh, you, you're so great. But deep down inside, they hate us. They want to live without you, man. Look at them. They're they, they disgusted by us. They hate us. Yep. Yep. They hate us. Perpetual hatred for us. The Bible says they have perpetual hatred for us, which means never ending. Yep. No matter how, how, how much they try to be buddy buddy with you and they cool with you, they hate you. And the, the only reason why they trying now is to say, oh, I love you, is because they, they're starting to feel bad uh, for what they did. But that don't mean that they don't gotta pay for what they did. Yep. You gotta pay for what you did. And and, and only only they feel them back because they, they, they know they know they gotta pay for it. Now, yep. hey, has the so-called white man paid for what he did to us in slavery? Have they paid for that yet? As a whole. As a whole. As a whole nation, have have they paid for whipping us, raping our women, putting us on cargo slave ships like sardines? Did they pay for that yet? <laughs> They didn't pay for it. Yeah. So guess what? The Lord is going to say, oh, well, look, you got to pick up that tab. That's right. It's like That's if right. you go to a restaurant, you run up a tab of a million dollars. You can't just walk out of the restaurant. No, you're going to have to pick up that tab and pay for that shit. Yep, yep. So the Lord is going to say, look, you got to pick up that tab and, and pay and, for and that if shit. If you ain't got the money, what are they going to say? You got to work it off. You got to work it off. You're going to be in there washing some dishes. Guess what? And it's prophecy that they're they going to, hey, what they, they, they did they, to they us. They got to work it off. They got to do, the, what they did to us is going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. All right, now. Hold on, what you got right here? You want to answer the question about the nukes? Yeah, yeah, we're going to answer that. This is, uh, Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5. It says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel uh -huh. by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So he said they have had perpetual hatred. Perpetual means never ending. And they shed the blood of the Israelites. That, that, that's our blood. Hey, America, this soil is stained with our blood. To this day, we used to got... They, they found in uh, mass grave sites of, uh, uh, of our bodies from when, when they slaughtered us. Yeah. Over and over and over and over and over again. When Christopher Columbus came here, he said he couldn't put his sword down for one hour because he was too busy slaughtering people. Your people. Yeah. He was slaughtering. So when we tell you these men, this man is a devil, that's, why, that, that's, that's, the, that's the truth of the matter. The Lord told us this because what? He's telling us that it's time to come out of this place. The Lord's about to, right, right now, we in hell. Which one? You get in your car, you driving down the road, and you might have a bad tide. They see some red lights, some random lights behind you. What happened? Your heart drop. 
<laughs> the so-called white man, that don't happen to him. He seen red and blue, I said, he, oh, it's, it's the friendly neighborhood hey, officer. Hey, we had this Edomite come up to us. We had this Edomite come up to us the other day, which is a white man. He said, man, I had 11 felonies. 11 felonies. Jake, Jake get, uh, our people, we get one felony, we go on damn life. I'm going to tell you something, I'm going to tell you something, because this shit is real. I got two felonies, and my life is ruined. I can't go, I can't go put a house in my name, I can't go put a car in my name, I can't do shit. This motherfucker got 11 felonies and got them all expunged. He see, we went to the military after Go figure. Going to because show you that this right here is not, it's just not our kingdom. Yeah. This is their kingdom. This is this is their heaven. They right can now we things, in hell. Right, they can do things we can't do. And that's the problem with our people. We want to envy them. Because right now they got power. They in the power seat. Look, look at all those people on the boat. They probably all Edomites. Yeah. Every single one of them probably. Hey brother, you got a boat? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> all right. You know, you know what I mean? And when, we're not when, supposed when, to envy When they on their boat, we got to go to work. Yep. And, 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 and I'm pretty sure, let me ask you this, where you work at? I don't work. You don't work yet? All right, well, when you do start to work, it's going to be a labor job. Hard, okay, hard a hardcore labor. labor. Yep. Because we're still slaves here yep. to this day. This is why America, I mean, this is why we, what we're doing, we, we, we are building up to the point where we ask you a question where you said about America being destroyed. Right, right. Because we, 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 you, you don't understand this, you, you're thinking, why America got to be destroyed? America got to be destroyed because not only is it the land of our captivity, but it's the land of complete abomination. Yep. They push nothing but wickedness here. Yep. That's, yep. Why, that's why they just legalized uh, or been legalized homosexual marriage. That's we're gonna according to the Bible. Transgender, all this stuff is, is hey, wickedness, man. And, and soon pedophilia. Yeah, you 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 know about the times of Noah, right? When when the earth was flooded. Well, why was it flooded? Because the earth was wicked as hell. Yep. Why do you think this place gonna get hit with nuclear missiles and these people gonna burn? It's because this place wicked as hell. Look at those Beckys. Oh, can I? I grab <laughs> this precept Becky's real quick. Right no, what you got? Uh, Ecclesiastes one and nine, because the, nothing is new in Babylon. Right. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. Uh -huh. Right, so you know the saying, history repeats itself. Go ahead. There is no new thing under the sun. So there's no new thing under the sun. So the same thing that happened before time are about to happen again, man, but only much worse. The Lord said that there's going to be a first death and a second death, which are two major judgments on earth. The first death was what? The time of Noah. The second death is when America is going to be fully on fire right. everywhere in america is going to be on fire and if you are here in the land of america when it's burnt you're going to be part of the lake of fire you don't want to be part of the lake of fire man that's not no average fire it's now, nuclear fire now with that being said because you are israelite we are israelites we have a chance to get saved from out of that fire yeah that's a beautiful part brother just told you that america as, as a whole is going to be destroyed from nuclear missiles going to be started with fire right we have an opportunity, a chance to be the, to be saved from that fire. Because right now we own America, we, we, we own these shores, and you ain't, ain't gonna be able to just up and leave when the, when the missile in the sky. <laughs> ain't enough time. Ain't enough time. What about the Europeans going to Europe? Going Europe? Well, they're gonna be over there, and, and, and some missiles are gonna hit Europe too. Not as many as gonna hit America, but also you people, the, the Europeans that send them. Uh, the Europeans are all over the world, by the way, too. They're all over the world. What's gonna happen is the ones that's all over the world. We, 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 the, these chariots right here. This right here's a chariot, right? You you, you ever heard of a chariot? You, you, you ever heard of a UFO? Uh, yeah. The UFOs, what, people, what these white men call UFOs, are the chariots of the Most High God. So when the angels come back, they fly in these chariots and they're going to zap and obliterate all these white people all over the earth. Con. And they're going to put them in slavery. Con, now, the, 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 the rich Europeans, right, they have bunkers. Yeah. So they're going to go in their underground bunkers when a nukes it. These, the, the people who rule the earth today, they, they, this is their agenda. Okay, they want, they want this to happen. That's why they have deep underground bunkers. Yep. All right? And they're going to be in them underground bunkers. The elect, the ones who repent and come back to the Lord, the chariots are going to come back and beam us up. You see, like this right here. People are actually going to be beamed up by chariots. That's how people are going to be delivered from this, from this what, what, what's about to happen. Now, the people that were in the bunkers, we going to come down and we going to dig them out of them bunkers. Yeah. And they're going to be the first fruits of slavery, man. That's right. And, 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 and like I said, this is all interesting up to your question. But you know how you got these Marvel movies? Like Marvel, you, you, you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? All those stuff that they, 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 those, uh, uh, that's, that's for entertainment, right? But in reality, those stories and those, and those shows and those movies are, are portraying the truth of the Bible because the Bible tells you that the Israelite man was going to be changed. Yeah. We're we going to be changed until what? And we're going to get new bodies. So if you see Superman body, how, how a bullet can't penetrate his body, how, you know what I'm saying, he, he can fly, he can run fast, he can do all these things, that power is coming to the Israelite man. That's right. On, on, on the earth. On the earth. 
But when they show you in the movies, it's always a so-called white man, right? Mm -hmm. Superman, a white man, uh, Goku, a so-called white man. Mm -hmm. the, that power is coming to the Israelite man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we at, we, we we once had that power. Yeah. Did not uh, 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 Moses split the Red Sea? Mm -hmm. Didn't he? Power of God. That's, That's the right. power of the Lord. That's right. right that, but the Lord worked through Moses. That's right. He worked through Moses. Did not Yahweh Shai, Jesus, was he not walking on water? Yeah. Was he not changing water to wine? Yeah. Weapon? Yes, but he was God. Well, the scriptures say ye are God. All of us are God. Yeah, yeah. The lowercase g. All right, now, Jesus is not the most high God, but that's that's another thing. There is a heavenly father, which is his name is Yahweh. All right, his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai, which is the Messiah. Right now, King David said Two separate in, beings. In, in King David in Psalms 82, he said, I have said ye are God. And Yahweh Shai, the Lord even said that. He was talking to the disciples. He said, look, I've said you are God. Because, which powers. Which, yeah, which means exactly, power. Moses had power. Samson had power. Solomon had power. These men had power. King David was jumping over fucking walls. walls, man. That's power. The Lord gave these men power. That's right. That's coming back. To, to, to do these marvelous things. That's why, that's, why, that's why the Bible's there, because the Bible talks about miracles. These men was able to do miracles through the spirit of the Most High. Who was only begotten son. Now let's go into, into these nuclear missiles. Yes, yes. Let's go into these nuclear missiles. Let's grab these nuclear missiles. We're going to show you how America's going to be destroyed and why, why we got to get up out of here. You want me to grab uh, second Peter? Grab second Peter first, yeah. Uh, this is second Peter. Actually, this grab that first, the arrows. It's the book of second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 13. It says, for strong is, for strong is loud, his bro, right, loud, loud, loud. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he sh shooteth are sharp. And shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So let me ask you: If I have a bow and arrow, can I shoot a bow and arrow from here to Russia? So this is a deep, dark parable. He said his arrows are sharp when they begin to be shot from one end of the earth to the other. What is that talking about? Nuclear warheads. They have these things called ICBM missiles, mm -hmm. intercontinental ballistic missiles. So, what? What if it's just hyperbole? What? what if it's just hyperbole? Well, it's it's prophecy. Is what it is. So the scriptures are written in deep, dark sayings. Parables. In parables. It's not a fairy tale. The, the Bible is not a fairy tale book. Yeah, I, I, I know. So it's a literal thing. So there's literally going to be arrows because shot listen, from one end of the earth to the other. Because listen, you, when, 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 when this scripture was, was, was came, came out, there was no such as nuclear missile. Right. So, so the, the men of old, the prophets that were was seeing these visions, they had to describe them to the best of their ability. They, they never seen a missile before. So they said, this was like an arrow flying in the sky and have fire coming from this arrow so it's not a little arrow it's a nuclear missile but they didn't know that back then because they never seen nuclear missile before right. in the time we live in right now we see nuclear missiles we know what nuclear missile is they got all over tv and all these shows all these movies now we see them because they have been they have, they have been created this is an end time prophecy that that, 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 that is being um fulfilled. It's fulfilled and established to you and manifested to you through the scriptures well, you understand yeah. uh, second ezra oh, second. 16 and 13. that's in the apocrypha you ever heard of apocrypha uh, 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 Apocrypha. All right, so this right here is it's another thing too. You don't have the whole, the whole, you don't have the whole Bible. And, and in the Bible, the Bible was in the sixteen eleven, uh, uh, the sixteen eleven King James Version Bible. It originally came with something called the Apocrypha in it, which was the we were breaking the word Apocrypha. It means hidden books or missing books. They took books out of the Bible and they gave us KJV. All right, when you go into the to that original Bible, you are gonna find these books in there. All right. But go ahead, brother. Bring it back. Yeah, bring it back. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse thirteen. It says, "For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow; uh -huh. his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world." And it said, "And cannot miss. They're not going to miss." So when these ICBM missiles, when they're when they are sent, they're not going to miss their target. Mm -hmm. An arrow. If I try to shoot an arrow, I, I might hit my target. Right? I might, it might, it's not gonna be 100% accurate every time. Now, these missiles, once they're shot, that's it. You can't turn them back, and, all right? And that's why, when you think about it spiritually, when you think about it spiritually, we say, there's carnal and there's spiritual. When you think about it spiritually, all these movies, you ever seen X-Men Apocalypse? Whenever he, he shot the missiles up into the air? All these missiles, all these movies are showing you something very particular, missiles being shot. This is not by coincidence. This is not just because they, they got a great imagination. Because this is Bible prophecy, and the ones that rule this country, they know that because they study the Bible. Yeah. So yeah. right now, that brother said, as an arrow shot from one end to the ends of the earth. This arrow, these uh, arrows, uh, 
hyperbole our arrows are being shot from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. Enter ballistic confidence from this uh uh Um let's right. sit on that. Right. Let me grab this real quick. Yeah. To, to, to make, make it plain, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh Zechariah chapter yeah. 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord shall smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So the Lord is about to fight for us. Yep. All the atrocities that these people have done to us, the Lord is about to fight for us. All right. And blood is going to be shed, yep. whether you want it to be or not. Yep. Go ahead. That's why I have something called Armageddon. Yep. War of Armageddon. Right. right. It says their flesh. Because you have to think about it. The Lord just describes a, a, a weapon to you. And you, you tell me what weapon on the face of the earth can do this. Mm. All right. It says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. Mm. What weapon can do that? Can a gun do that? Can a, a, a regular missile? No. Only thing they can do that. Have you ever seen um, 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 Sarah Connor? A, a term, Terminator with Sarah Connor? Whenever that missile went off and she was like hanging on to the gate, she's like, ah! She's like, she like disintegrated. You, you, you ever seen that book? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, okay. Uh, what's something else? What's something else? Um, uh, I, I can, I can uh, hold on. Sure. I got some right here. I got some right here. That's, that's the plague that the Lord is going to uh, burn this place with. They have a thing called the Lake of Fire in the Bible. That's not underground somewhere. That's that's all fairy tale. These people don't break down the Bible in truth and sincerity. Hey, check, check this out. This right here is what's going to come upon this place. Bring the camera. Oh man, hold on, let me get the audio. <laughs> that's what I just described to you. That's a lake of fire. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, from a nuclear missile. That's a terrible judgment, man. And it's you a mushroom cloud. You understand? This is a Bible prophecy that it's prophecy that over 200 million Nuclear missiles are going to destroy America. That's why you got all these nations. Russia talking about nuclear missiles. There's a there's an arms race going on. Oh, Russia, nice China, it. Iran. They're all stocking up on nukes. Why? So they can hang them up on the wall, take a picture of them, take pictures by them. Hey, what's up? North Korea? Nah. They're gonna end up shooting them. You know what else is biblical prophecy? World War Three. The scriptures talk about World War Three. All right. So World War Three is about to take place, and it really, it really has already started. You see all these nations getting. Antsy. They about to start pressing buttons soon, man. Yes, sir. Go ahead. You yes, got sir. a what you got? This is uh, Malachi chapter yep. four verse like one. Says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all, all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly uh -huh. shall hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring that back, bring that back, slow it down. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. It said, Thou shalt burn as an oven. What, what, what happens when you throw something in the oven? Is it going to freeze to death? It's going to burn, right? That's not coming to the earth. The earth is literally going to be on fire and, and, and just mostly America is going to be on fire. It's going to be an oven. It's going to be an oven. Go ahead. Or, 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 or like a furnace. You ever seen a furnace where it's like a fire? It's like a, it's like a, it's like a pit of fire. You throw some in there and, and, and it burns up and consumes away. That's going to be America. And everything upon this place, unless you get saved by the one of those chariots. All right? Go ahead. It says, in all the proud, yeah. And all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Mm. So all the proud and the wicked is going to be stubble. All right. When you throw stubble on a fire, it catches fire. So these people, the proud people and the wicked people, they literally going to be fueled to that fire. Uh, Con, yeah. Let me grab wait, that, Go ahead. Finish it. Finish it. It says, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Yep, so th this place is gonna burn them up. Yeah. Now real quick, this is Isaiah 9 and 5. Mm. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Uh -huh. So ancient wars used to be fought with what? Axes and, and swords, so it was a lot of noise and stuff. It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Yeah. So this war that's coming upon earth is gonna be fought with burning and fuel of fire by way of nukes. That's right. Uh, all, all the yeah. other wars were shot with, were fought with uh, swords and muskets. This particular third world war is going to be fought with thermonuclear missiles. They didn't make all these missiles just, just to have them sitting around. That's why you got this guy, uh, Jim Clinton, talking about pressing the button. He's talking about pre pressing the button, pressing the button, pressing the button. Because that's Bible prophecy that that's going to happen. No matter what, how, how we feel about it, what we think about it. Look at him, man. Hey, I'm asking you this. How old are you? 17. 
17? Well, you're a young brother. Well, I'm this pretty, brother, how old is your brother? 15. 15? He's 15. He's 15. That's what you didn't think. You didn't think you like getting a beard. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but for the most part, we, we, we all young brothers out here, man. Right, right. We, we, we could be at the club. We could be at a barbecue. We could be at a, <laughs> with some bra right now. The Lord put the spirits to come out here and prophesy the destruction of this place. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, we, got, do. We, got, we got a bunch of them. We're going to put you on to those, too. Yeah. But read it right here real quick. We know that. Second Peter, yeah, yeah. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. The Lord oh, is not yeah, slack concerning his promise. So the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Meaning the Lord, hey, the people say, oh, the Lord's supposed to come this, this year, that year, this way. He ain't coming yet. The Lord is coming. But not, not in our time, on his time. You know what I'm saying? So when he, when he come, he coming. All right, go ahead. As some men count slackness, uh -huh. but is long suffering to us word, uh -huh. not willing that any should perish, uh -huh. but that all should come to repentance. That everybody should, the Lord wants us to come to repentance. And the only people that can't repent are the children of Israel. Turn the sign around. You see this right here? Come, on, come around, brother. This right here, this is a so called white man, right? This is Theodore Roosevelt. This is an actual statue in Manhattan. I believe it's taken down recently. But this is an actual statue of Manhattan. This is Theodore Roosevelt, which is the president of America. This is a so-called Native Indian and a, a so-called Negro. He is ha he, he's leading us into captivity. He has us in chains, been led into captivity. This man is, is, in, a, is, in, a, is in a position of power right now. True. And we are in a position of servitude. It's a horse. The, but in a horse, exactly. It says, um, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6 in the Bible. Holy, a uh, folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in a low place. I have seen servants upon horses, because they were created to be servants. Mm. They were created to serve us. Bring it up! That the true children of Israel are, 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 are the so-called Negro Spanish Native Indians. The Lord said that we were supposed to be the, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the true princes. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walking as servants upon earth. We are the princes. Yasharala, which is um, uh, um, in Israel in Hebrew. We, we are princes of the power, princes of the Most High God, all right? But we have been brought into a, to a lower state. The Lord's about to come back and redeem us. It's about to be a power switch. Right now, the so-called, what, what's one thing that we all got, 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 got the, what's one thing that we all have in common? We, we at the bottom, the very bottom, all right? We, in, we, we are slaves, we are in captivity here. It's one thing we, we both got in common. The, the Negroes, the Spanish Native Indians, we have that one thing in common, all right? And we also have another thing in common. We have a common enemy, mm -hmm. this guy. All right. right, who put us in, in, in slavery? That's right. They gotta pay for this. The Bible said that, we, that, that uh, according to prophecy, we're gonna put them in slavery. What you reap, or uh, what you sow, you shall reap. Yep. So if you sow nothing but slavery and, and, and death and destruction upon the earth, you're gonna reap the same. Yep. They gotta pay for this, and then as a whole, they have not paid for it yet. I can't even just forgive them. Because, well, ultimately, it's all according to the Most High. You know what I'm saying the Most High said that they gotta pay for this. Let's tell you something. You know what they say? They say, oh, two wrongs don't make a right. But guess what? It's going to make it even, ain't it? Yeah. It's going to make it even. But what if they just try to get back at us? Well, hey, well not? Because we're going to be in power. Yeah, the Lord's going to be here. He ain't going to make sure. The scriptures talk about once our kingdom is established, we're never going to go down ever again. Yep. They're never going to try us again. Hey, and not to mention, cool. after a thousand years of hardcore slavery, these people are going to be exterminated. Yeah. They're the only nation on earth. Read the book of Obadiah. The whole book of Obadiah tells you right they're the only nation on earth that's going to be completely eradicated. And look, they did this right here to us, right? Now, they, now, now they will say, let's let bygones be bygones. But that, they, they, got, they, they got the upper hand over us. They haven't paid for this yet. That's, yep. not, that's not justice. You know what justice means? That if if I go in your house and kill and, and kill your, your family, you're gonna want justice to come to me, right? You're gonna want something to happen to me. I gotta pay for what I did. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with them. Now, if you go steal a candy bar I, 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 out of this damn corner store over here, what are they gonna do? They're gonna call the police, you're gonna get arrested. You're you gonna say, hey, listen, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll bring it back. Can y'all just forgive me? I won't do it again. They're not gonna wanna hear that. Mm. They're not gonna say, oh, okay, <laughs> fine, it's all good. No, they're gonna put you in jail. <laughs> they're gonna put you in jail, if not kill you when they pull up. All right? These people, the way we think and the way they think are two different things. They hate us. Yep, yep. Now, it's only us that say, well, can we just forgive them? Can we just da, 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 da? No, that's not how it works. And at the end of the day, there must be a, a ruling power and a, a ruling people and a people in servitude. Right now, we are in servitude and they're ruling. But it's about to be switched. I got an answer for it. Uh... Listen, this is the thing too. Our people have, have a slave mentality. All we know is how to be servants, how, 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 how to be slaves. The Lord said he's going he to take that from us and he's going to make us the rulers of the earth. You're like, you're like how this man right here is really looking at this right here. This man is, is on the top of a horse. He's in power. And and, 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 and do, he look, do, he look, do he look sad about it? No, he's happy. 
and we looking sad. That's got to switch. That's justice. Uh, hey, that's beautiful. That's the gospel. That's good news. You should have. Hey, that's what, that's what's wrong. Sometimes we get caught up on. Well, well, why this or why why does he have to be, be compassionate? We're we're really compassionate. Be be happy that the Lord's coming back for us. That's right. He's coming back to establish a kingdom. We're gonna be rulers and princes and kings. That's right. Don't that's worry right. about the ungodly. Hey, and worry about the righteous. Shiver says that oppression makes the wise man mad. Now you said you're 17, right? So you still kind of young. You still don't know what it's like to be oppressed yet, you're fully. You know what I'm saying you, you when you grow up and you got to you got to pay bills, you got to uh, uh, catch hell. You at the bottom of society. You are gonna really understand what what, what it means. Why we got to get the hell up out of here? Because right now you you know what I'm saying you haven't really lived lived that life yet. When you get older and you start realizing that you you in slavery, oppression makes the wise men mad. That's why we mad out here. We, we ain't happy. We ain't out here trying to have fun. We ain't trying to be a buddy buddy with everybody. We ain't trying to be hey hey hi hi, hi Mr. White guy. No, to hell with them because hey, at the end of the day, they are oppressing us. Right. They keeping us at the bottom. When you go look into the prison system, the prison system is filled with all people that look like us. But when you look into the, 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 the statistics, they the ones that, that shoot them to, to all them schools, man. Yeah. <laughs> they shoot up all them schools, blowing up all these buildings, doing all this mass death and destruction, but they ain't paying for it. Yeah, they dropping bombs every minute. They getting let off. They getting slaps on the wrist. We don't get slaps on the wrist. <laughs> they slapping cuffs on our wrist. All right, <laughs> bring that back, brother. Finish this up. Finish this up. This is uh, verse ten. Can I get I'll bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah uh, okay. Type in uh, prophets in Babylon on YouTube for the first one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Go ahead brother. Hey, 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 hey. Just give, just, just give him your phone. He gonna do it for you. Yeah, I'll, you, you got a YouTube. Go ahead, brother. Oh, we bring it back none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It says, uh, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but his long suffering is usward, to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the end, I bar you how to find. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great. With a great noise, and the elements shall melt with noise, with uh, fervent heat. And what we do, brothers, we, we, we do these videos every single week. We, we also do videos throughout the week to edify the flock, to edify the children of Israel to come out of darkness, to come into this marvelous light so that we can be saved. We are ultimately out here so that we can wake up our people, the elect of our people, and we can get up out of here. That's the whole That's point, right. to get out of America. So when this place gets destroyed, with the thermos, we told you it's going to be struggled with fire, right? The, the whole goal is to be saved out of that fire. So so, so we don't find ourselves in that fire doing the Harlem Shake. All right. <laughs> hey. Another thing is, the Lord's name is not Jesus, man. His name is Yahweh Shai. Our Lord was a Hebrew. He was a Jew, so he had a Hebrew name. The letter J is only about 400 years old. Right? So our Messiah walked 2,000 years ago. There was no letter J back then, so that couldn't have been his name. His true name in ancient Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. That's right. Don't be praying to Jesus no more. That's a demon. Mm -hmm. Praying to a demon. Put the sign around. That's who you're praying to. Mm -hmm. That hey. this guy holds a vibe. That name holds a vibration. That's right. So Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Messiah. That's Pray right. to that name. Hey, this man right here is actually a man that walked the earth. His name was Cesare Borgia. He was a homosexual, a pedophile. Ooh. He slept with his sister. He was a murderer. So when you worship and praying to this guy, that's for you. You are praying uh, uh, until those spirits come upon you. That's why these pastors, they be pedophiles. Yep. They be homosexual. That's weird according to the Bible. Now, let me ask you this, brother. Everything you heard here, here to our day, that, 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 that doesn't make sense to, to, to you. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Do you, do, do you live around here? Uh, yes, I do. We out here every single Saturday, for the most part. Get this brother number, and he's going to deal with you personally. Huh. You understand? Because what, 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 what we want for you is to come to repentance and seek the Lord so that you can be, so, so you, you don't be in that fire. And the reason why you stopped the pond is because you stopped the pond is you got this work because the Lord said what? Man's goings are of the Lord. He says, my sheep hear my voice. The Lord ultimately called you to stop here, park your bike, listen to this word for, for, the, for the past hour you've been out here so that you can, Lord willing, not be in that fire right there. You understand what I'm saying? Right, because ultimately we don't have this thing called free will. Everything is by the will of the Most High. That's right. So you stopped here because the Lord wanted you to stop here. We're out here because the Lord wants us to be here. So take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Get this truth, get this knowledge, and repent.
Yeah. And you can have a chance to be beamed into one of these chariots, man. That's right. Hey, the, the, the government just came out with them files of thousands of uh, they declassify UFOs. Yeah. They're, they're straight up admitting that UFOs are real. Yeah. Now, those UFOs hold the angels in them. You want to be beamed into a chariot, brother. You That's don't right. want to be here. That's right. You hey. don't want to be here. And yeah. it could happen this year. That's, That's right. the scary part about it. Hey, and right here, you got Judah out here. You got Ephraim out here. You got Benjamin. You got Levi. We need uh, Simeon out here. Yeah. All right? Simeon. You are an Israelite from, from, from the tribe of Simeon. What's your name, brother? Abbas. 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 From the Bible. All praises, right, right, all praises, right, right, all praises, all praises. Yeah, that's spiritual right there. That's spiritual. The Lord, spiritual. hey, the Lord might have a higher calling for you, brother. You might have walked right into it today. That's right. You know, now you got to, you just got to do your part. At the end right. of the day, like we said, man, it's not for everybody. We're not going to force it to be for anybody. If it's not for you, it's not for you. If it is, all praises. We hope you come to repentance, man. That's right. And we're going to be out here. Like the brother said, we out here every week, man. That's right. So you can come out here around uh, 3, 4 o'clock. We're going to be here. That's right. Hey, and y'all yeah, yeah, exchange numbers? Yeah. So you got his number? All right. So hey, the brother's brother here going to deal with you. He's going he to ask you your questions. He's going to see you more scriptures, see you more videos. What'd Watch you, those what'd videos. What did you save it as? Oh, I didn't save it. I oh. just called it. Oh, you called it? Huh. We're, we're, yeah. Uh, yeah um, Watch those videos and, and, and uh, understand it. And Lord, when we see you next week, you oh. know what I'm saying? Come back out here next week and get more understanding because like we said the time is short. Yeah, time the, is very the, short. The America is about to be destroyed with thermonuclear, thermonuclear fire, thermonuclear missiles. So you want to be a part of that salvation, not part of that destruction. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, where that sound at? Especially this here. Real quick. Turn, right here, right here, right here. It's Bible prophecy. This right here is all at it right here in America. These are all the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians in America, right? All this, like me, me, Hugh, all of us, we, 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 we on this chart right here, all right? This right here is two-thirds that are going to be destroyed. These are the people that's going to be saved. You want to be a part of this number, not a part of this number. You understand know what I'm saying? So the, when the Lord comes, more people are going to be destroyed than are going to be saved. You understand know what I'm saying? You want to be a part of this number. To be a part of this number, we got, we got a lot of work to do. Yep. You know what I mean? Real quick, this is Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, all the land of America, uh -huh. saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts, two thirds. Oh, these, these, people are, these people are about to die. All right? Two thirds. And then, go ahead. It says, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. The one third, all right? And ultimately, we are here to what? Pro to be prophets, to be of that one, four, four. These men right here are going to have spiritual power. Yeah. They're going to be able to do marvelous things like Goku and Superman and, 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 and everybody else. They got power. And they show you, we're going to be able to do that and more. You ever heard of the 144,000 in the Bible? In the book of Revelation, they talk about 144,000 that were redeemed, that's going to be saved. Well, it's in the book of Revelation. That's talking about the prophets. So 12,000 men from each one of these tribes is, is predestined to be saved and yep. to be a prophet. Yep. All right, so there's 12,000 Dominicans on earth today, 12,000 Puerto Ricans, 12,000 so-called Negroes, which are Israelites, that are gonna be saved to be prophets, man. And you wanna um, be a part of that 12,000. You wanna you want be there. That's hold that sign up right there, turn that sign around. Real quick before you go, real quick. I ain't gonna hold you up too, 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 too long. Oh yeah. America is about to implement, implement something called the market of beasts. This R50 microchip right here is gonna be the new form of currency. In order to be able to be a part of this society, you're going to have to have it. The Bible tells us we are not to take this mark of the beast. Yep. We can't take it. They, they, they want to implant in society. You already know this, right? Yeah. Don't take it. If we don't see you next week, I'll never see you again. Whatever you do, do not take this, all right? Right. Don't take and, that vaccine. And, 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 and don't take that vaccine either. You know what the vaccine is? The jab. The vaccine. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Because listen, nowadays they, 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 they're doing something called censorship. So if you, if you say that word, they'll, they, take, they'll, they'll take the video it. down. You know what I'm saying? So you see how we try to be careful. You good, you but you're all right. I don't, I don't think they hurt you. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Hey, but that's I, coming, man. That's coming real soon. Can I get some, one more to answer his question? That's what, it's all, that's what all this stuff that's happening in the world today is leaking up to, man. This chip right here. And it could be implemented this year. Hey, Joe Biden, the new president, he was talking about this thing 15 years ago. He even said that this is going to be, uh, uh, that the judge is going to rule on this. Yep, yep. Hey, right? and, and it's getting close, especially people. We're looking at people, they got masks on their face. Because right now, they, they, they're bringing us to a, something called a New World Order. And they want everybody to be in compliance and, 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 and in order with their New World Order. So they, they put make people put masks on, make people social distance, all these things to make people what? Con con yeah, condition them for slavery. 
people are being conditioned to, to be slaves. Right, because if you take that chip, you're going to be a digital slave yeah. to the devil. All right, so now when, you, when you, let's say you don't got the money to uh, pay your, your, your card note, well, it's going to take it out of your chip. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and they're going to link everything to this chip. Yeah. Social security card, whatever it is. Everything's going to be linked. Uh, 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 medical documents, one, it's going to be linked to that chip. So don't take that, man. If you take it, you're marked. Anybody who takes the chip is going to be in the lake of fire. If you yeah. take the chip, you just sign your, you sign your name on a nuke. And you're going to eat it. You don't want that. What you got up? Uh, that's to uh, that's what you're asking earlier about being. What if they could uh, the white people could just be forgiven, just forget about it? Oh, yeah. Revelation thirteen and ten. Huh. He that lead him into captivity. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, 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 go. Revelation thirteen and nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So we all got ears, right? But he said you have a spiritual ear. He, if you have understanding, all right, let him hear. Open your ears and actually hear what the brother saying right now. Go, 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 go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity. So what do happen right there? They, they, they led us into captivity, right? They, 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 this guy right here is the turtle. He is leading us into captivity right here. He is le leading the horse, and we tied to him, been led into captivity. Do you, you, you understand? This is the Bible right here. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. What we think about it is not important. How we feel like we should be, how what we feel like it, it, it should do. It doesn't matter. The Lord said that he that leads in the captivity shall go in the captivity. Because at the end of the day, the, the, the words of the Lord stand. Yeah. So I can tell you how I feel about it, what I think. It don't matter what we think or how we feel or what, what we think we should do. What, what the word says is what's going to happen. That's right. No matter what. That's right. Now I got to be to that real quick. Let me finish. Okay. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And they kill, they kill us with the sword. They, 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 they've been slaying us for thousands of years, putting us to death, gruesomely. They, they, they even killed our Lord. The same Romans that they, they, they telling you to worship killed our Lord. You understand? They killed the prophets. All right, go ahead. Here's the patience of the, faint, uh, the saints. And, and the saints are the Israelites. And the patience means the suffering, because we suffering right now. We catch a hell. We at the bottom of society right now. All right? Uh, what you got? Two questions right quick. Uh, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, uh, it said, The burden of the word of the Lord, God, by to Israel, by Malachi. Verse 2, I have loved you, saith the Lord, God, by Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Mm -hmm. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai. Yet I love Jacob. All right, because the Lord loved us, man. All right, so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native American, all right? Right, we come from Jacob. Yep, yep. We, me and you, we come, all these brothers, we come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. That's who we come from. What's the name, what's, what's uh, Jacob's little name uh, was changed to Israel, which come to, the, to our tribe, all right? Uh, Verse 3 says, and I hated Esau. So the Lord hated Esau. And Esau is the so-called white man. What's the uh that uh that chart on that? Esau and Jacob. Yeah, the Lord hated Esau, man. And that's the that's the devil's walk amongst us today, right now. So th that doesn't sound like God is our love right there. At all. The scriptures just said that God hated Esau. Mm -hmm. So so-called so white, white man. Esau is the so-called white man. God said he hates Esau. And, and King David said that he's going to hate anything God hates. So guess what? We're going to hate anything God hates. That's right. It's uh, only righteous. These people are wicked. They, 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 they did this. Look, look at You heard about them. Emmett Till. Emmett Till. You heard they did them, right? You understand that the lady that did that said that he did that. She came out and said that he didn't really do it. So they killed him for, for pretty much no reason. And they killed him in the most gruesome way. The devil, and they know what happened too? They got off. They, they, they didn't go to prison for, for, for that. They got off. They got to pay for that. That's unright. If I go in your house right now and I and I steal a TV, <laughs> I, I slap your grandma. <laughs> you, oh, I'm sorry, man. You, you you get the point, all right? <laughs> you gonna, you gonna, you gonna want me to pay for that, right? You gonna call the police? And say, hey, I want I want him arrested. I want him. I want this. I want to, Same thing with them. And 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 for us, the police for us, uh, the, the authorities for us is our power. Yep. And he's coming down to deliver us to, to redeem us. We need deliverance. We need salvation. We need help. Right now, we ain't getting it because we get we, we get our backs whipped into leather. You understand what I'm saying? So the time we come into, the Lord's raising up His men to come out of come out of that darkest state, come out of that. God loves everybody because we just told you that right there was, wasn't the truth. The dust. The, 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 you you, you got to get the truth of the Bible. All right. Um, you got to rise up out of the nah. valley of dry bones. 
so y'all are Christians, right? Well, the word Christian means a follower of the, right. the, 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 the Messiah. So yeah, but in, 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 in a more true state than what they call Christians nowadays. We, we're not like the modern day Christians. Because the modern day Christians, they don't believe the Bible. They, they don't believe in the Bible. So what kind of like, what are you like specifically? Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. So, so are you. We're coming back to our heritage. Yep, our nationality. Yep, we're our coming nationality. back to our nationality of the Bible. Who right. we truly are. That's a good question. Beautiful question. Now, in a sense, you ask, are we Christians? Yeah, we, we are followers of the Messiah. So we follow what the Messiah says yep. in that sense. Now, we're not going to church, the, the Christian church. This is like the that. church. This is the church right here. Right. This, this is us going to church because we study in the Bible. We read the word. You understand? Because you got to remember, we are the temple of the Most High. Yep. Scripture says the temple of the Most High dwell, dwelleth in you. Right. So we are we are the temple. That's right. The, the, so, the, the, hey, the scriptures also say that God does not dwell in temples made with hands. That's right. That's an axe. So the Lord doesn't really dwell in these temples that, that these churches and stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Because they're not teaching you the truth, man. They didn't. Hey, you go to church. I don't care what you church, church you go to. You, you go to church? Do they teach you anything that we taught you today? Yeah. A little bit, but not all of it, right? They, they teach you, they teach you, they teach you, they teach you that, that you was an Israelite from, from, from the tribe of, uh, uh, Simeon. of Simeon. No, that's very important. Because that's who you are. before that, you didn't know who you were. You said Hispanic, which is probably a Spain. But still, he's still a slave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they teach you that, that the Messiah was, was, was a so called black man according to the Holy Bible? Uh, I believe he was like 10. 10? All right. Well, let's get let's, that. Let's get that real quick. We, 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 we ain't got that. Give, 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 us, give us a couple second. moment. Because uh, another thing, very important. we also have to understand at the end of the day, it's not about what we might believe. It's about what the Bible says. So we're going to prove, which is good, that you don't believe he's a white man. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Now we're going to prove that he's actually a dark tan man, a dark brown skinned man. Because it's in the Bible. All right? This is revelation, which the word revelation means to reveal. So we're about to reveal something to you. Revelation 1 and 14. 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. No, no, uh, go, start, start at verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ. Uh huh. Who you're going to call Jesus Christ? His name is Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And it said, the revelation of him. Now, what, what revelation means what? To reveal. Oh, praise his brother. Oh, he said it. Okay. So I know. <laughs> <laughs> it says, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, so one like unto the Son of Man. Now, the seven candlesticks is right here. This brother got a seven kiss on, on his chest right here. This, this, this is the menorah. Now, the Jewish have a nine candlestick. The Bible talks about the seven candlesticks, all right? Go ahead. It says, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Now, this, the, 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 the beast to reveal, they're about to reveal to you what the Lord is according to the Bible. Not what the pastors say, not, 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 not what's in the churches, according to the Bible, what he looks like. All or right? not what I might believe or what yeah. anybody believes. Yep, yep, yep. It says, a clothed down with a garment down to the foot. So he has a garment down to, 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 to his feet. Go ahead. And uh, a girt about, girt the about the paps with a golden girdle. A golden girdle. Go ahead. This, his, this, hold on. This is right here describing the, the, the Messiah according to the Holy Bible. Not according to the lies that the white man told us. According to the Bible. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the head, the hair on his head and the hair, the hair on his face were white like wool. Wool is, wool is a texture. If you see a sheep, a sheep has woolly hair. All right. Which is what? Nappy. Kinky. This right here is woolly hair. This right here, woolly hair, woolly hair, woolly hair, woolly hair. Only people on the face of the earth that has woolly hair. Uh, pre 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 uh, dominantly are so-called black people. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. wool uh, white is a color. He had, he had a white woolly hair, white, uh, a white afro and, and, and a white kinky beard. Go ahead. As white as snow uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes as a flame of fire. Now, does this man have white woolly hair? Is his eyes as a flame of fire? No, they're blue. Go ahead. <laughs> and his feet like unto fine brass. So if I look at your feet, look at the brother's forehead. I see your feet, right? It's gonna be the same color as the rest of your body, right? His feet like unto fine brass. Now brass is the root of brown. If you see a penny, all right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. This right here is copper, but this is more, more, more so like brass, right? Go ahead. It says, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. In a fire. So if I, if I throw this in a fire, it's gonna come out what? White? Come out dark, right? The Lord was a very dark-skinned man with white woolly hair. He was a so-called black man according to the Bible. The whole world has been lying to us telling that this right here was, 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 was the Messiah. This ain't in the Bible. You ask a Christian, what, 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 what does the Lord look like? They said, we don't know. It we don't just matter. showed you in the Bible. Right. So evidently it does matter. 
All right, because because when the Lord comes, you got to worship him in truth and sincerity. I got to preach it right here real quick before y'all go. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 27. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. This is evil. Uh -huh. All right, and it's being put out by the men of the Lord coming out here and, hey, wiping off that looking glass, man. Uh -huh. As for faith, it shall flourish. Mm. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. So we're out here declaring the truth, man. That's right. And we're not going to say according to your feelings. We're not going to tiptoe around your feelings and how you feel. We're going to let you know exactly what it is for what it is. That's right. Because we want to get blood off of our hands. That's right. That's right. Hey, bro, let me ask you this. What's your nationality? I'm Indian. You're Indian, right? According to your father? Well, the Lord said that he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. He ain't come for nobody else. He came for us. And when he comes back, he cracked that sky. He's coming with what? Judgment, right? Armageddon. Who is he coming for judgment for? The wicked. The ones who put us in slavery. The so-called white man, woman, and child had us in chains. They're the ones that put us in slavery. They enslaved the most high chosen people, the apple of his eye. So they got to pay for that. You understand? We the ones that was in... <laughs> you Indian, right? <laughs> you was right next to me. We, we, we was over there get, 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 getting dragged in chains. All right, the, the, the Lord is coming to deliver us out of this captivity, out of this hell, because right now we in hell. Hey, most likely, brother, I know you got to go. Most likely, you would come from the tribe of Gad. Yeah. Okay, 12 tribes of Israel. We are the true, true children of Israel. That's right. Hey, you got a nice beard, brother. Keep, keep that's that the law. Hey, that's, that's the law, law man. Yep, so, hey, yep. all praises, brother. Yep, all yep. praises. Beautiful, man. All right, bro, you have a good one, brother. Take it easy, brother. God, God bless you and your family. Egypt, you ever seen a white man? Never. No, that's right. Never. 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 You have a good night. <laughs> hey, man. Before I go, uh, what do you call uh, the people who believe what, like you believe? Like, what do you call that? Believers are the truth. They, 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 they're, no, they're, they're, like, like, as specific as you could be. Like, um, I'm the Hebrew Israelites. Well, yeah, Hebrew Israelites, but more importantly, the one third. The one third. Because this is the believers. Well, 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 he, well, he, he said, he's he, he, he trying to like, look, look up more people like us? Yeah. Yeah, so you just type in Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. But more so type in GMS. GMS. Type in GMS or Great Millstone. The Hebrew Israelites, all right? right? And also, too, like, you like you, 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 you had just got those those channels, right? Mm -hmm. On those channels, we're going to post more more, more, more uh, videos. But when you said what religion, like, what, what we believe, we are the Hebrew Israelites. Now, that's not a religion. That's our nationality. nationality. That, that That's who we are according to the Bible. Religion is, is, is man-made fairy tales, all right? A Hebrew Israelite is who you are by the Most High God. Right. The Most High God made you a Hebrew Israelite. And nobody said it from Lekha, like, like, I can't turn around tomorrow and say I'm a Chinese man. Right. All right, I'm not a Chinese man. All right, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Right, hey, uh, who you call Jesus? Yahweh Shai, he didn't come with religion. Yep, he came with a doctrine, he came with the truth. He didn't, the he didn't come with religion. All right, so we we came back to our heritage. Remember, that's the first scripture I showed you was we shall discontinue from our heritage. We're coming back to our heritage as Hebrew Israelites, so that's what we are. But uh, another camp is Great Millstone. Great Millstone, you can just type that in. Uh, Great mill, yeah, GMS, Great Millstone. You'll you'll see a lot of videos too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, most importantly, study, study for yourself. Yeah, yeah. All right, look into this for yourself. Study hey. for yourself. And continue to study. ask questions. Continue to ask. We have beautiful questions tonight, brother. Yeah, beautiful questions, brother. You great, great. Like most people, they, they don't really ask a lot of questions because they don't really care. The fact you ask questions so to show that you care and you actually listen. The brother going to deal with you. Now, answer the phone. Talk to the brother. Answer his text messages. That brother do you. And like I said, if you come out next week, come out next week. All right. Before you go, what you got? I got Deuteronomy 7, chapter 7, verse 6. This is how the Most High God feels about us. All right, the children of Israel. Go ahead. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, and thy power. Holy means separate. We like everybody else. So what they can do, we can't do. What we can do, they can't do. That's why we the best at sports, dancing, music, cooking. You name it, we the best at it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, thy power have chosen thee to be a special people. The Lord said, we, you told us to be a special people. Unto we him. are special. Unto himself. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we ain't like everybody else. Hey, what, what they do, we can't necessarily do. Go ahead. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people, Ooh. Lord said what? We are above all people <laughs> that are upon the face of the earth. Yes, sir. You, you understand what that means? That means you got all these people on earth, right? He said that the children of Israel, the so-called Negro Spanish Native Indians, we are above them. Mm -hmm. Now, right now we're not, we at the bottom, but spiritually we, we are above them. Mm -hmm. In the eyes of the most high God, we are above them. And they all know it, which is why they hate us. Yep. This is why they hunt us down. They put, they, they put us in, in, in jail. They they, 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 they killing us in the street because they know that we are better than them. And they know that when 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 when, when our time comes around, we are gonna put them in slavery. That's right. Like how they put us in slavery. You understand what I'm saying? That's only right. Now, read what you sow. Read what you sow. 
And I might, I might not sound good to you right now because you, 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 you're just not getting this thing. But it's the truth of the matter. Would you rather be a slave or a slave master? <laughs> yeah, see, well, think about it a little harder. Think, <laughs> think about it. Would you, about, it would, would you rather get your back whipped or be doing the whipping? What? You rather get, you, you rather get whipped? Yeah. See, so you say that now, but I'll pull out this note. <laughs> huh? Got yeah, he did, but he he he, he got whipped wrongfully, and now he's coming back to get to, to get vengeance for, for getting whipped, which which which, which is righteous. Vengeance is mine. I got whipped. He got whipped. They got. We all got whipped. Yep. But I ain't gonna get whipped no more. You feel me? I don't want to keep getting whipped. I ain't with that. Ain't with that kinky shit, man. <laughs> I ain't trying to keep getting whipped. Hey, hey, hey brother, in Atlanta, Hispaniola, and that was a good video that you posted on Facebook. Where uh, in Atlanta, Hispaniola, what they did. They threw our people in ant piles and watched us get eaten alive by ants. That's what they did to us. The, the Dominicans and Haitians. That's what they did to us over there, man. They did some crazy stuff. They threw us in caves and lit up sulfur to ch oh, so we can choke them and smoke them, uh, like, uh, like, like like the gas. Of the yeah, sulfur. yeah, yeah, yeah. They had done some very di di diabolical things to us, man. So, but because of that, they gotta pay for that. These okay. people cannot right. be forgiven, bro. Yeah, never. Hey, and at the end of the day, the scriptures stand. He that leadeth into captivity shall it's go into captivity. captivity. That's it. That's the truth of the matter. There's no way around that. You can't just take that scripture out and say, oh, I don't want, I don't want to put nobody in captivity. Well, it's gonna happen regardless, no matter what, because the word stands, man. And, and, and the thing about people is that they they have, they have a slavery mentality. Yeah. All, all people know is that it, all people know is how to be slaves. The Lord is gonna put a spirit on us to be. Become real true men of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to get that that, that 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 God complex back. Not a God complex, but, but that how, 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 how you say it? That um that 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 I'm like this. That supreme being of mind. Yeah, all right? kingdom mindset. That kingdom mindset. Mentality. That's there it goes. Mentality. Kingdom mindset, rulership mentality. We want to come back to that. All right, because right now, because listen, the, the brother is about to try to say we are we are the, we are above all people. So why are we at the bottom? Ask me for our, for, our, for our wickedness. The Lord said, well, we, we, we went off, we've been wicked, we had to get judged. Like, if, if you do something bad, your mom and your parents are going to judge you, right? They're going to give you a whooping or whatever. Well, what happened? You're going to go on punishment. When you come off that punishment, you're good, right? For, for, for the longest time, we've been on punishment. Our Father has been punishing us because, 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 because we, we did something bad. But now, we, our punishment is almost up. And when our punishment is up, I mean, we about to get up out of here. All right, I got one more piece up. One more, one more piece up. This is a... Uh, Come on, come on, bring that out real quick. Hold on. What you got? This is the book of the rock. Now we just told you this guy here. This man right here. Hold on. This man right here is our, is our enemy, right? It's our enemy. All right. He, he, the same. This guy right here did that to us. And when this was happening to us, a guy that looked like this guy right here was reading about this guy to us. You understand? Go ahead. Book of the rock, chapter twelve, verse eleven. I mean, verse ten. Go ahead. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So the, Lord, the scripture, the Lord said, never trust thine enemy. They are our enemy because they put us in slavery, right? Don't trust them. They might come to you with a nice smile and stuff, thinking that all people scream, hey, 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 buddy, how you doing? And deep down inside, he want to kill you. Oh yeah. All right. And what you going, what you, what you about to start seeing out here, is them putting out people to death like never before. Yeah, yep. true colors. They're gonna be put us to death. Like never before in the face of the earth. They're gonna be trying to slaughter us. And you're gonna see back to this moment, you'll say, damn. These brothers was right. These, I'm dealing with the devil. You, you, you gonna be, see you it. You gonna be getting chased by a mob of these crackers out here. A mob of them. I'm gonna be chasing you, trying to trying to kill you, yeah. trying to trying, trying to cut your peepee off, and especially and, and hang you from a tree. <laughs> yeah, especially if you don't want to take that chip. You say you ain't gonna take the chip, right? They, hey, you, they gonna deem you as the enemy. Yep. yep. They gonna say, look, this guy ain't, ain't with the new world order, man. Get him. Yep. Domestic terrorists. Yep. They're gonna. They're, hey, if you go stand for the Messiah, you gonna have to hey walk that path the Messiah walked. That's right. That's right. A hard path, completely, and that's what we up here. You see up here somewhere with the garments. Look at the same, the same garments he got on. You see us up here rocking. We, we, we. Hey, the Lord, Lord say, he that follows me and not take up up his cross is not worthy of me. We take him to that cross. We understand that by doing this, we we gonna be hated, gonna be gonna be called messy we're gonna be persecuted, gonna be everything. Laughed at, scoffed at. Hey, the Lord said uh, the servant is not greater than his master. What I go through, you gonna have to go through. So the same thing our Lord went through, we gonna go through the same type of things, man. Persecuted, hated, disrespected. Okay, but hey. the ultimate goal is to gain what everlasting life. That's right. There's that's men right. on earth today that's never gonna die. There's people on earth today that's gonna gain salvation and gain eternal life, just like the Lord oh, promised. Oh. He promised eternal life. So there's people on earth that are starting immortality right, right now, now as we speak. Exactly. He said. Hey, gra gra grab this real quick. Go ahead. 
First Peter chapter 2 and verse 21 says, For even uh, hereunto were ye called, because Amashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow in his steps. Uh -huh. So we were called because the Lord called us into this thing to, to follow his example. And you know ultimately right now you're being called too. That's right. The Lord is calling you, but the scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. So you got to take this calling seriously. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is speaking through the brothers. Every brother that I spoke today, the Lord is speaking through these brothers. To you. To you. Amen. That's deep right there. Wow. That's deep. That's deep right there. You got, you got, now you got to do something with that. Hey, you so, wanna get on it. Just don't, hey, don't just sit on it. Nah, well, I'll, I'll come back to it later. Study, watch the videos, and, and most importantly, come back out here again, man. Next time, bring a Bible, man. Bible study. This is church, man. Yep, yep. This, this is the church. church. We ain't gonna ask for your money. We ain't gonna ask for tithes at the end either. Yep. All right, we ain't gonna. Hey, you hey, pass around John three sixteen. <laughs> pass around the pot. Now imagine you see sit up here and, <laughs> and heard all this right here, and all of a sudden we we, we pull out our, our pockets and say, "Hey, brother, like, I know you gotta uh, put some money now, right?" Nah, the money, brother. That's, that. what, that's what they're doing, man. Hey, the that's scriptures say, do. buy the truth and sell it not. So we ain't here to sell the truth, man. Yeah, We're here to freely give free. it to you. Yep. And that's it. Hey, and Lord willing, you, you, you do something with it. Yep. Yeah. Let, let me grab this for you real quick. Multiply them talents, get, man. You saw all these, you saw all these scriptures we got we bringing out? Because we they teach them in church. They, don't, they might bring out five scriptures. Maybe. Maybe five scriptures in church. Maybe. We're, we brought out how much precepts? 50, 60, 70, 80, because we know the Bible. We yep. study every single day. We are actually studying to show ourselves the truth. As we should. As we should. These this guys is... will bring out one John 3 16 and close the book and say, close the book. See, God loves everybody. Two hours. Ha pass the pot around. Five hey. times. Say this out. Deuteronomy chapter, this is for you, brother, in particular. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Go ahead, brother, bring it up. Yep, so right now, heaven and earth has been recorded, meaning. Us and the, the holy angels have been here recording you. Yep. All right, so this day has been recorded before you. Yep. All right. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. So right now what the Lord ultimately did for you is he set two paths in front of you. He said life and death. At the end of the day, you're going to have to make a choice. You're either going to continue to do what you was doing whatever before you came here, or you're going to come into the truth. Which is life. Right, which is if life. If I may add, if I may add, he's saying this day has been recorded, man. Yeah. So what? When you, when, if, you, if you do go back into the world and continue on the wickedness, when you die, you can't say you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. they're going to play this moment back. Yeah, you won't see us again, yeah. like. You'd be like, oh, shit! Come <laughs> <laughs> too late. Come yeah. too late. You got, you got, you got, we, we, this is why we're trying to uh, uh, make you understand, because this is, this is a very important moment for you in particular. Yep, very important and very, very important serious. Moment. Very serious moment. All right, because if you don't want to be in that fire, you gotta take heed to what we're saying right now through the Spirit. And it's really not us, it's just the Lord. You know what I'm saying? It says, Blessing and cursing, therefore choose life. Choose life. The Lord said, Ooh. Choose life, man. Life set in front of you. The Lord just brought you the truth, man. What you've been seeking for, the truth of the Bible, you just ran into it today because right. the Lord wanted you to see. Obviously, you were searching for hey, it. Hey, yeah. And you know what? The Lord had you, the Lord put a Spirit on you to grab that bike, come out here and ride down, ride, ride down. The, 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 stop and you park right there. We ain't go to your door, knock on your door, and beat you up and say, hey, you gonna hear this word. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't take your kick you off your bike and hold you down and say, no, 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 no. You came, you, 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 you came, came across this truth. You heard, you heard something you liked, you stopped and you heard it. Now you gotta do something with it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, I got from this, from this day on, your, 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 your life is gonna change. Yep. Hopefully for the better, if not for the worse. Yep. You understand? Because you've been introduced to the truth now. You've been introduced to the true gospel. Now you so know your, better. Your life is going to change. Yep. A hundred percent. Whether you do something with it or not, if you don't do anything with it, your life you're gonna see a lot of terrible Ooh. shit happening to you. Yeah. But if you do, if you do something with it, the Lord's gonna increase you. Yep. Or, or you might see all shit happen to people, people around you. Yep. And you might tell them this stuff, and they might think you're crazy or whatever, and then they, 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 they might completely shun it, and then they're getting car accident. They might not die, but they might lose, lose a leg or some shit. Yeah. And that's that, that's that's the fact. That's the, the, the Lord is to be feared. So the Lord, Scripture says, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So the Lord is terrifying. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, the Lord is the one that's doing all these things. You understand? Somebody got me doing 32 and 39. I know, I know, I know. I got it. I know, I got it. Wait, one more, one more. One more, wait, one more. What's that? Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's right. Because you fear the Lord. Because if you're hearing the prophet speaking to you, so if you really, 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 too hardly fear the Lord, 
you're gonna gain that wisdom. You're gonna come back, and you're yep. gonna always set that light. Yep, yep. Hey, hey, brother, and pray about it. Yep. Pray about it. All right. It was good, good, good talking to you. Yep. What, what, what was your name again? Habez. 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 Hello. When we see you again soon. Uh, take it easy, brother. All right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Hey, I I gotta gotta go. Go. What you got, brother? This is uh, Isaiah 55, verse 11. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, mm. and it shall prosper in the thing which, well, where to I sent it. Hey, right, so this word ain't gonna go out void, man. Uh. All right, the Lord is out here uh, uh, declaring his truth, declaring the truth by the way of the holy prophets, and it's not going to go out of void, man. Uh, Nuclear destruction is still going to happen. That microchip is still going to be declared. All right, Jacob's trouble is still going to happen. Two-thirds is still not going to wake up. All right, so we here to just prophesy and bring the truth out, man, yeah. to, do the, to do the bidding of the Lord, man. God, this, these scriptures were not written in vain like many yep. books are. Yep. All right, these scriptures are not in vain, man. Everything is going to come to pass. Yep. Okay, the scripture says none of these shall fail. Yep. Okay, none of these scriptures are going to fail, man. Everything is going to come to pass in these scriptures. That's right. That's right. That's what it's all about, man. Hey, at the end of the day, we, we, hey, all, all we can do is our part. All right. Everybody got a lot to fulfill, and we, we got to fulfill our lot, fulfill our part. So, Lord, we're going to be saved up out of this place, man. All right. What you got up? We we in that time where the Lord's gonna start making things known, man. All right. Right now, people he, 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 he can't really perceive what we're saying. They can't really get it uh, fully. But in that time, you're gonna know the prophet has been among you, man. Yeah. Every, 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 everybody in their mama gonna know what, what, what time it is when that time comes. All right. Well, what was that? It's Matthew chapter five, verse six. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Uh huh. Hey, we hunger and thirst after righteousness, man. We, we are hungering and thirsting for this righteousness. We, hey, we ain't hungering and thirsting for wickedness. We hunger and thirsting for righteousness. We, we want the Lord to deliver us and get us out of this hell and, and, and to bring us into uh, uh, peace and sound mind, man. Go ahead. Says, for they shall be filled. So for they, for they shall be filled. So blessed are they that, for, uh, that uh, hunger and seek righteousness, that they shall be filled, man. If you really want it, the scripture Lord said what? Knock upon the door and it shall be opened unto you, man. All right, you got to really be seeking this thing, man. All right, to the best of your ability, trying to get right with your how about y'all shy, and then it will be answered unto you, man. Hey, so a bunch of brothers up here, man, we started seeking the Lord, man, and it got, the Lord got opened unto us, and now here we are, man. All right, we ain't out here still lost and confused like most people are. We got some understanding, man. Look at that damn yacht, man. Because we were spiritually banging on that door. That's right, that's right. That's right. Oh, you find it yet? Go ahead, brother. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. That's right. So the Lord said, neglect not the gift that is in thee that was given to thee in prophecy, man. So we, we and Lord has give, given us gifts, man. All right. So we got, with that gift, we got to do something with it. We, we got to use those gifts, man. All right. And neglect it not. Go ahead. With the lying on the hands of the presbytery. Pres oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, presbytery. Pres presbytery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Presbytery. Um, yep, yep. That's it on that. Oh, uh, what, what you got up? It's the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 62. Mm -hmm. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. So the Lord didn't show the king, get it to everybody, man. Now everybody gonna, hey, every Joe Schmuck that passed by here gonna get it, man. And we ain't looking for him to get it, man. Or right, he said that he showed it unto who? Go ahead. Yeah. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now thou hast showed me the multitude of the wonders. Which I will begin to do in the last times. Right That's serious right there. Hold on. <laughs> got in too. <laughs> That's serious, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are right. Yeah. He's, he's not wise. That's right. He's That's a right. little bit dark. Yeah, yeah. He's very like dark. A, like a mulata. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like a negro. Yeah. white and black. Yeah. <laughs> no, you are not white. You are, you are Yep, yep, yep. Y'all have, yeah, have a good night. He's not white and he's not have blue eyes. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. Dude, they getting there, they getting there. Hey, Israel's waking up, man. He said, he's a mulata. <laughs> oh, praises, man. Hey, Jake waking up, man. Jake waking up, that's a beautiful thing, man. Because before, they'll be a beat girl to beat our ass before we're saying that, man. You said, what? <laughs> you getting named up. Oh, white Jesus. <laughs> oh, about white Jesus. Well, I bring that back. Oh, beautiful, man. Bring that back. It's the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 62. Uh -huh. These things have I not shown unto all men. But unto thee 
and a few like this. So there's, there's, only, there's only a few like us, man. Yep. All right, everybody can't get it. Everybody ain't for everybody understand. So that's why we, he, he saw, he saw we, was, we, we, we was pressuring that brother to get it. And what will he do get it? If he don't get it, hey, hey. Yeah, so what? So what? <laughs> he answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now thou showed me the multitude of the wonders uh -huh. which thou wilt begin to do in the last times. That's right. But what? But what? But at what time thou has not showed me? That's right. So the, the, the warnings that's going to start you in the end times. But at what time? We don't know, man. All, right, we, we, all, all, all we do know is that by these prophecies that's coming to pass, it is coming soon. All right. The Lord is coming soon. I, 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 I know this chick. She told me she had a vision. All right. And she was, and she was in the dark. And the vision said she had a verse of a, a very deep voice told her, I'm coming soon. I'm coming soon. Hey, Peter, I'm coming soon. I'm coming soon. The Lord is opening everybody's eyes to realize this, man. At some point in time, the Lord will come to you and show you that, hey, he's coming soon, man. You might you might be walking down the river walking. You see us over here telling you the Lord is coming soon. That's how you know, man. All right? The fact that we out here prophesying lets you know that the Lord is coming soon. All right? And when this time comes, you want to be on his good side, not on his bad side, man. All right? Precepts? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I got to grab it. Because you were just talking about it. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Hold on up. Let me grab what he got. Grab that right Oh, there. yeah. Joel 2 and 28. And it oh. shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. That's right. That's right. Beautiful. I was actually thinking, thinking about that, man. Listen, we'll pour spirit upon all flesh. So right now we're in a time where the Lord is pouring out his spirit, man. He is pouring spirit upon not just Israel, but all flesh. Everybody having dreams of fishes, man. All right. You got these Edomites having dreams of going into slavery, man. Dream, dreams again, they backs whipped. Dreams of bombs dropping on their foreheads. All right, go ahead. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Uh -huh. And your young men shall see visions. That's right. That's right. So we got people seeing visions. Hey, hey, hey. Brothers up here, we, we be having visions, man. Wow. Spiritual visions that, just, that you can't even go, go around, man. It's like, damn, like, without a reasonable doubt, that's a spiritual oh, vision right there, man. Uh, speaking of which... I had a vision a, a while ago. I told his brother about the 5G towers, how I had a vision that they were spinning. Mm -hmm. Tell me how I was driving yesterday. I saw one of them spinning. Word. It was a 5G tower that was spinning. So I was like, damn, that means that they're about to really activate these things. Yep, yep, yep. Right? They're really yep. about to turn a notch up on these things. Now, another thing is said that your daughter shall prophesy. Now, when a, a woman, when, it, when it's talking about a woman prophesying, it means that she'll have a dream and she'll tell it to the man that she's dealing with. Yep. And that man will end up going out there and prophesying. Yep, yep. All right? So a woman's not gonna go out here and put a garment on and prophesy. That's not a woman's job. Yep. All right. So that, hey, that that right there is, is the most important thing about this thing, man. Is that hey, the Lord is about to come upon this place, man. So we are we are prophesying that the Lord is about to come upon this place and destroy America, and you want to be found on His good side, man. All right. Hey, and I like right about the 5G towers. I had I had a I saw I was at work one day and I saw a, a, a damn 5G tower. It was behind a church, oh, behind man. a church, and the damn probes on it was shaped as crosses, man. All right, so they, they, it, was, it was getting a double whammy, all right? <laughs> double whammy of bullshit, all right? And by the way, that's why they got you wearing these masks now, because a mask we weaken your immune system. So when they, when they do turn on those, uh, have you had a problem with that? <laughs> when they do turn on those, uh, <laughs> oh my God. When they do turn on those, uh, those, um, those uh, 5G towers, it's gonna, it's, people are going to be dropping dead, man. Like people, people going to be, because they, they wearing these masks 24-7, uh, seven days a week. When that when that 5G tower come on, your your system is already weakened. Yeah. Your ass gonna pass out and just be so all over the place. That old Biden trying to put down where you wear double masks. Double mask, man. They, they, they <laughs> double double mask, mask it up. They are trying to kill you. Fuck, you double mask up. Yeah, they gonna suffocate. Twenty four seven double masked up. He, he said, "Hey, Biden wants you to be wearing a mask for the next hundred days, man. In your car, uh, in your house, everywhere." His ass sitting there mask free, man. Huh? Yep. I'm going to show you that these 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 doubles are very crafty, man. Hey, they, 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 they pull things in the works, man. Look at you guys. They, 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 they can't even breathe. <laughs> can't even breathe, man. We'll go ahead. We'll, 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 we'll talk about this guy. Precept. I got another precept. Go ahead. Uh, First Samuel 12 and uh, 22. For Yahweh will not forsake his people for his great name's sake. Because uh -huh. I have pleased Yahweh to make you his people. That's right. The Lord said he's not going to forsake his people, man. All right. So but us being his people, the church of Israel, the Lord got us, man. If you really truly 144% believe in that, man, the Lord got you. He's not going to forsake you, man. But, but in that, you got you to gotta be doing your part, man. And you, you, you got to be uh, 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 doing something for the Lord, man. It ain't all about you. It ain't about how you feel or what you think or what, or what you got going on. Do something for the Lord, man. All right? Let me uh, get another one. Verse 24. Only fear Yahweh 
and serve him in truth with all your heart. For right. consider how great things he have done for you. That's right. That's right. And, and every morning you wake up, the Lord has, has done that for you, man, to wake right. you up, to come in, to come into, into this word. Yeah. All right. I sit on that. Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil, mm -hmm. to give you an expected end. Huh. So we have an expected end, man. When you come into the truth, you understand, man, you didn't come into the truth to, to perish. Yep. Which there are going to be brothers that's going to be martyrs of the truth. Yep. But you came into this truth to ultimately gain salvation. Hey, and even if you're in truth and you and you, and you are martyr for the truth, you're not necessarily perishing because you're going to, hey, the Lord, you're going to be up there with the Lord, man. Yep, you're going to gain right, that you, spiritual you're gonna, body. You're going to be in peace and you're going to come back down here first, man. Yep. All right. It says, um, uh, oh, it says, um, it says, verse 12, then shall you call upon me. And ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Yep. And ye shall seek me and find me, hmm. when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Hey, so if that brother comes into this thing, and truth and sincerity, that means he was searching for the truth. Yep. Just like us, brothers. We were searching for the truth. And guess what? We turned to the Lord with all our mind and all our heart. And now we're growing in this thing, man. Through the grace of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. That's right. And now at any given second... You got Jake that don't take this thing seriously. The Lord can snap his fingers, take the Holy Spirit from you, man. Take, 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 take hey, put, put your candlelight out, man. Yep, so you don't want that, man. You got to take this thing serious, all right? This is a, a, a serious, a solemn assembly, man. Yep. It says, and I will be found of you, saith Yahweh, and I will turn away your captivity and will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, saith Yahweh, and I will bring you again into the place Whence I cause ye to be carried away captive, because ye have said, The Lord has raised us up, prophets in Babylon. Yep. Yeah, Bashir, I, I, I forgot I was there, man. I was the spirit, man. I was the spirit right there. That's the spirit, man. All right, go ahead, brother. Uh, this is the book of Jude. Yeah, that's the spirit. Uh, uh, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, I will therefore put you in remembrance through you, through you Do, like, those. those like it though ye once knew this how that how that the Lord Yahweh Shai have saved the people out of the land of, of Egypt after evil but that which is good he that doeth good is of Yahweh but he that doeth evil have not seen Yahweh mm. Nah, it goes right here, brother. Oh, read it uh, again. It's lucky, it's lucky, it's lucky. It says, uh, Jude chapter chapter one, verse five. It says, I will, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord... Right, though you once knew this. So the Lord's putting us in remembrance of who we are. We once knew who we were. Hey, get this guy in camera. Jake fucking. He'll be a Jake, man. You never fucking know. He'll be Northern Kingdom, bro. He'll he be blasting uh, Spanish music all the time, man. Yeah, I think he could be Northern Kingdom. I think he could be Jake. But uh, we once knew who we were. Yep. So we're coming back to remembrance of who we are. Go uh, ahead. That the Lord Yahweh Shemashi have saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroyed hmm. them that believed not right so the people that didn't believe they were destroyed man all right now guess what the same's going to happen in this in this land of egypt all right america the people who don't believe are going to be destroyed the ones who do believe going to be saved man yep, yep. it's a hey, simple as that man in the simplicity of the lord man go ahead it's the book of jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old so how do you identify a prophet go ahead prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil mm -hmm. and of pestilence. A true prophet is going to tell you about great pestilence, diseases, wars, rumors of wars, and that's what we do. Uh. We constantly tell you about World War III is going to happen. We tell you that there's going to be more pestilence. We told you that five years ago. So, hey, elders and apostles 30 years ago mm -hmm. letting you know, hey, there's going to be pestilence, the market of beasts, all this, man. So that's how you identify a prophet. He's, he's going to be prophesying. 
and he's gonna be telling you about upcoming destruction and doom. That's what the prophet did not know it. Tell everybody, did not know it. Tell everybody that there was gonna be a flood. All right, and guess what? The flood came. We telling people that there's gonna be a flood, and the flood's gonna come, man. And this time it's gonna be with with fire, man. That's right. What you got? Go ahead. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and a prophet back then, they were called seers. Right. So yeah. this is a definition uh, of, uh, of a prophet back in the day, which was called a seer. So this is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 9, verse 9. Before time in Israel, when a man went to the choir of Yahweh, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was a was before time called a seer. Mm -hmm. no, I said all that. No. I go, I gotta preach it real quick. This is uh first Peter chapter 4, verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch and uh, and watch unto prayer. Right? So you gotta be in a sober mindset, meaning in, in uh, a sober mind in the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad, man. That's right, that's right. All right, and you have to watch as therefore under pray too, being heavy prayer. A lot of brothers, they, they have a problem with praying. Make sure you brothers are praying day and night. Yep, yep, yep. You wake up, even if it's a quick prayer, man. You get you, hey, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for another day of life. The water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for giving me another chance. You should be praying all throughout the day, man. Yep. Every time you think about it, be praying, man. If you're at work, you, 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 you're driving home, whatever you might be, man, set up a prayer, man. Yep. The scripture says pray uh, pray without ceasing, man. All right, you're supposed to be in heavy prayer. And it says it also says what? And watch unto prayer. So you're supposed to be watching, man. You're supposed to be someone sitting in a damn corner looking at the wall. All right, you're supposed to be, someone, you're supposed to be watching, man. Hey, watching the news, watching uh, what's going on, watching these videos, watching what's going on. Hey, man, be, get, get with the program, man. Get with the motherfucking program, all right? You're supposed to be watching, man. All right, when you watch something like, 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 like what, hey, we, hey, Lord made us watchmen of, uh, for Israel, man. Get up on your tower and be watching, man. We got brothers, we, we got a chat, brothers being up posting videos, and this corner, this corner, that corner. You, hey, if you ain't supposed to sit in the chat, <laughs> well, you ain't watching, man. If you ain't posting the videos, you ain't watching. Supposed to be watching, man. All right, watching unto prayer, okay, and praying that we get delivered out of here, man. Because what's coming upon this place, you want to not only know what's going on, but you want to be delivered out of it, man. All right. Did David, then David not pray morning night and uh morning day and night three times and even more than even more than that man he prayed if he, uh, if he got up in the middle of the night and started praying yep yep yeah yep. that's beautiful midnight you wake up and just call like how about me i was shy man oh. so we got to be in heavy prayer brothers all right knocking you shall receive man knocking he shall answer but if yep. you ain't knocking ain't nobody gonna answer man yeah yeah they pray any more, any more precepts i got animals uh, Go ahead, grab the Amos. Fine, fine. It's the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right, right. so the, the Lord is going to receive, uh, give the secrets to the prophets, man. All right? So the things that we teach are a secret to this world, man, because they, they ain't never heard it before. All right, so the Lord is going to reveal the secrets to the prophets, man. One of some of those secrets, nuclear destruction, mark of the beast, two-thirds being destroyed, that we're Israelites. That's a secret. The Lord gave it back to the prophets, man. All right, start, starting with uh, 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 Abba Bivens, man. All right? <laughs> that you don't see IUIC teaching that shit, man. Yeah. They ain't teaching, they ain't teaching these things, man. Because the Lord ain't revealing secrets to them. All right? They, they teach, they're trying to give you fucking milk through a bottle, hey, man. ISUBK said John the Baptist wasn't in the truth. Yeah. And John the Baptist was Abba Bivens re regenerated, and we believe that by faith. Mm. Yeah. And Abba uh, Bivens brought us back to who we were man clearly in the truth which was prophecy clear clear exact which was prophecy bible prophecy, bible prophecy and that they, and they don't do a prophecy man yep. that he so would it, pave it, the way it john the baptist way. paved the way out of bivens paved the way he opened hey, us up again come yeah. on. when yahweh shot came to john the baptist john the baptist already knew he was yahweh shot man yeah. Or how do you know that? Because the Lord revealed that to him. Yeah. Obviously because he was a prophet, man. Yeah, yeah, that was a secret, right, right. Right. Secret revealed it to the prophets, yep, yep. Oh, no, another thing, um, when Mary had was having Yahweh Shai, uh, and John was in um John was in the other uh other woman's uh belly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they were the prophesying they started dancing, they started dancing yeah. when they heard the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. That's God. the spirit. That's so the spirit. they knew uh, each uh, other. Exactly. Exactly. That's the spirit. Yeah. That's the spirit, yo. 
Yeah, forgot what scripture that was, but it's, it's yeah, I just saw what he's talking about. Oh, when they when they, when they, when they, when they had met the babies in their belly, started jumping around and dancing and stuff, which was the Lord, <laughs> our, our Lord, and John the back and John doing Baptist, back flips man. in there. So we come into a time where it's about to, be, we're about to get very spiritual out here, man. Yep. All right, and us coming out here prophesying and letting that this word know what's coming on. We expect and hope to be on the good side of that, okay? Yep. Because it's gonna be good and it's gonna be bad, man. It's gonna be all hell breaking loose. It's gonna be going on when we, uh, beautiful miracles happen. And we expect to be on the good side of that, man. All right. Everybody else has to have bullshitting, partying, and got, got a drink in their hand and walking around the street here drinking, riding their bikes and blasting Spanish music and shit. <laughs> They're on the other side of that, man. They're going to be getting plagued with demons, man. All right. They're, they're already plagued with demons. They're going to be getting, getting fucked up by literal demons. And it's going right? to be a lot of bad stuff. A lot of but bad the, stuff. But the good, the, the, uh, uh, the good stuff is going to outweigh the bad because for, it's going to be tremendous. For us. Uh, yeah, for us. Right. <laughs> For everybody else, not so much. Right. Not so much. You're going to get fucked up by man. You're going to see dead bodies all over the place. The streets are going to be littered with dead bodies, man. And I've had visions of the streets littered with dead bodies. Like a ridiculous amount. Most people you see right now, people just lying in the middle of the streets dead. Just falling out and shit. And that's the times that we're coming into, man. So you want to be you want to be found on the right side of that. Yep. All right. Any more precepts? That's it. Anyone down here? What you got? Uh, this is for the brother that was right here. Because, like, if you, if you listen to him talk after he brought out something, like, he kind of still had that, you know, that slave like mentality. Like yeah, going yeah. back, he was like, "Oh no, nah, Jesus Christ is da da da." And like he still had like doubts, kind of, kind of like what it, it's what it seemed like. But Lord willing, he get the truth. Mm -hmm. This is Second Second Chronicles chapter seven verse fourteen. It says, "If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven I, and will forgive their sin and I will heal their land." Yep. And we'll hear them. Yep, so if that brother repents and, and seeks the Lord's face, which means seeking the truth, then the Lord is going to heal him, man. You know, right now, our people are sick, man. Our people are sick, and we need healing. So, Lord willing, that brother does get healed, man. We pray, hey, Lord willing, that brother makes it, man. And we're going to pray for that brother, man. Yep, All right? Yep, yep, yep. Um, what you got up? First Peter chapter 4, verse uh, 17, it says... For the time is is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. The house of the Most High is, 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 is the Israelites, man. So when this all come down the pipe, when this all come, 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 come to pass, it's going to come upon the Israelites first, man. That's why you got this guy Biden talking about the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. All right? Because they, they, they know who they're coming for first, man. Yep, and and Jake and their own little world, they, they in La La Land, they have no idea. And they, they went right over their head, man. Yep. They, they coming for your ass, man. They, when, when they come, they, they, they want to come for great wrath and destruction for the children of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Advinians. Hey, and the Lord said that anybody who didn't have that spiritual mark is going to get a slave utterly both men, women, and young. Yep. Children. Hey, the Lord the Lord is coming coming with it, man. Is no, he is not a respectful person. So I don't care about a little fucking sister nene over here. She's going to get put to death too, man. If her ass ain't getting right, if you ain't getting right with a little sister the whole family, whole family going to die, man. All right, you gonna be whole families dying out here, man. And ain't gonna be no, uh, no, ain't gonna be no time to mourn for them, man. You gonna see little babies getting put to death, little, little uh, grown women get put to death, grown men get put to death, little, little little boys get. It's gonna be nasty out here, man. Cannibalism. And it's gonna start with our people first. All right, it's gonna start with our people first, man. So some of your, your cousins, your family members, they gonna be out here getting fucked up, and you ain't gonna be able to help them, man. Because when you try to help them and give them this word, they rejected it. Yeah. All right, bring that back. It says, "For the time is come." That judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Mm -hmm. It says, and <coughs> it says, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Lord? So, what should the end be of them that, that are not that, that obey not the gospel, man? The ones who, who who didn't want to repent, the ones who didn't want to get right. If it's gonna start with, 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 with us, man, it's gonna start with, with, with the men that's in this world, the, 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 the ones that don't be Israelites. How much more the ones that don't, man? Go ahead. He says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved. So if the righteous shall scarcely be saved, the righteous gonna be scared. What does it mean to be scarcely saved, man? It means you're gonna make it out by the skin of your teeth, man. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna be running and bullets gonna be flying past your head and, and oh, past your arm and <laughs> cut, cutting through your clothes and it ain't, gonna, it ain't gonna hit you though. You're gonna be scarcely saved. Go ahead. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appears. So if, if, if the righteous are going to be scarcely saved and bullets are going to be flying past your head and going through your fro and, and, and cutting through your shirt and shit, whatever else going to appear at? What, 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 what are the wicked going to appear at, man? They're going to be dead. Okay, they're going to appear like dung on the fucking streets. All right? Go on. Riddled with bullets. Riddled. Turn, turn to dust. <laughs> Riddled. All right? You're going to be blood in the streets, man. All right? And ain't, ain't nothing they can do about it, man. 
All right, if you, if you, if you ain't take this thing seriously and ultimately you want slave to come into this truth, you are finished, all right? Any more precepts? Yeah, I got a book of Matthew 7, 24, verse 42. Go ahead. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. That's right. So hey, the Lord can come any, any day now, man. Mm -hmm. Now we understand prophecy needs to take place, but the Lord's speeding up time. Yep. The mark of the beast, that prophecy can take take place overnight. Yeah. Where well, Matt, they got Operation Warp Speed, right? Where they can uh, 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 maxinate and chip people overnight, man. Yeah. So the, the Lord's gonna speed up time, man. Hey, and they already got the damn National Guard here to do it, man. Yep. They got the National Guard sleeps, they damn sleeping in in in, in, in uh the garage in, 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 in parking garages. Tell me some they feel they feeling betrayed. They gonna say, all right, you know what, you guys wanna go to work? All right, go to work. Go out there and. Operation Warp Speed. So what's happening is they're gonna, they're gonna be me. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Get give the program, and if, if whoever gonna give the program, they're gonna take you out of your house, and them troops gonna be living in your house, man. All right, they're gonna occupy your house, and that's actually the part of the the the, the, uh, the, the constitution, man. All right, that if, 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 if a troop need a place to stay, they can come in your house and occupy your your, 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 your house, man. So all that food water. storing up and all that water and all them guns, they're gonna be playing with it, man. They're having a good time, drinking your water, you're not gonna your food. It's gonna get bad out here, man. That's why that's why you need the Lord. <laughs> well, this is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Now, how is that happening? By way of YouTube. Mm -hmm. And they're about to shut the YouTube down, yep. which is the famine of the word. And that's when judgment's going to really take place, that's man. Right, that's right. We'll so, ultimately, you know what that means when the, when the YouTube shut down? Is that mean the elect have been sealed, man? That's right. The elect have 100% been sealed and, judged, and the gospel has been preached and in right. the whole world. And if you, if you don't got it by that point, you're fucked. Yep. All right. I mean, you're not a part of the elect. All right. And ultimately, that's that's why we ain't going to, to fucking Jamaica and uh, 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 Africa and Puerto Rico <laughs> like all these other false camps do out of pushing lies because the internet, the Lord gonna do it through the internet, man. All right. You got camps, GMS camps all over the world, and the other twice they never been to to, to to Italy and 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 Spain and everywhere else, man. But they got camps out there because what is gonna get done through the spirit of the Lord, man. These guys are doing their own thing. They out, there, they out there just, just going on vacations and shit, trying to, trying to mask that's doing the work of the Lord. The whole time they pushing lies. They ain't teach you what the market of the beast is. They ain't teach you what the hour of temptation is. They ain't teach you what Jacob's trouble is. All right? They ain't teach you what the mini man is. They ain't teach you nothing, man. All right? None of the spiritual things. But it says, uh, and this gospel shall be of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So we, 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 we had the end of this thing, man. The fact we are here preaching this word and brothers preaching this word all over the world shows you that the end is, is, is nigh and it's definitely about to come, man. Yes, all right, what you got? Oh, uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 33. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come, uh -huh. then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Ooh. Hey, hey, man, <laughs> we, we were raised up prophets in Babylon, man. All right, it's no coincidence that we are prophesying because when that time comes. Everybody going to know that a prophet has been among them. Everybody that passed by this strip, everybody that seen us out here pushing this word, when all hell broke us out here, they might have heard a couple a couple words we said. They're going to know that, oh, wow, so those were the true prophets, man. Those were the prophets, and they were the prophet that been among them, and by that time, it's going to be too late, man. And when, when, when they realize it, and and it the moment they, they actually realize it, the dog get kicked in. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> and it's over, man. So, hey, call her law. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. We give double honor to the elders and apostles of great mental teaching well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Right. Shalom. 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 Shalom.